He got shot. Click. Let me see. I was getting on the internet. All this shit. I'm like, damn. Like, somebody I could have. I didn't even get to make amends with my nigga. Like, really talk to him. Like, bro, it's all good. My nigga's like, I ain't tripping off that. But even though I was tripping, I ain't, I ain't get to tell him, like, nah, it ain't no beat, bro. Like, this, this, we cool. Yeah, y'all ain't ever really get to come to any sort of reconciliation. Right. About it. Right. So then now my nigga gone. And then he leave me up with a letter. Say out all the bullshit like look bro these are all your bitches that on the low i was trying to talk to he left you a letter yeah he left a whole he left all his homies letters like all his closest niggas they all got letters he was telling the truth about everything wow so he knew he was living hot yeah he knew he was hot and i and then i, I was mad i was even more mad that i got the letter i'm like so you just knew he was about to get smoked like you want some 13 reasons why well, shit, bro. right bro like that's that's what i'm like man and then the little shorty i was fucking with i was her baby dad who he had to shoot out with i'm like oh my god bro i can't catch a fucking break shorty scared to come around she think i'm a smoker i'm like bro it ain't even like that that had nothing to do with you that had nothing to do with me you feel me i didn't even know she was going down you feel me but just because niggas is so close, niggas be in the field. So now she like, nah, like, every time she come around now, she got another nigga and he got the pull on his lap. It don't, it don't bother me because I already know what her mindset is, but I still be like, sure, you ain't got to do all of this. But like, you feel me? I feel the altercation because she like, you say that, that right? Like, <laughs> you, and she know me, she was like, you cool right now, but who to say tomorrow you ain't you gonna be on some trash? You feel me? So, right, and if she feel like that, why even come around? 
Right. So that, that and that's what I be saying, but I do be calling her, you know, to get that bag. <laughs> but well, rain, 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 man. We in the back of the class, man. Where the cool kids talk about the not so cool, cool shit, shit today, right now, man. Um, we coming in this bitch with heavy hearts, man. Unfortunately, bro, it's just like you know what I'm saying. We do cover a lot of predominantly hip hop shit around here. You know what I'm saying. We cover a lot of shit, but of course, everybody probably already know we done like it's not late, but it's like 11 p.m. Eastern time here. But you know what I'm saying. The news and motherfucking um. Like one actually, but XXS Tentacion, man. Unfortunately, bro. Rest in peace, man. Rest in power, bro. You know what I'm saying? That shit is crazy as fuck, bro. Also on top of that, Jimmy Wapo as well. Like rest in peace, Wap, man. You feel me? Like that shit is sad. Like sad. Like in your hometown, that shit hurt, man. Like both of them. Both of them in it, bro. That shit. My, my nigga, it wasn't even like they was doing some hot. Well, I don't know about Jimmy Wapo. Right. But I, I know 6 9 when he, I mean, not 6 9 but XX, he wasn't even on no fucking hot shit. My nigga was trying to go buy a motorcycle. Pulled up in the Lambo. Looking to go buy a motherfucking motorcycle. Niggas in the city fucking hating. Hating because a little nigga up. He want, I don't know if he had beef with them niggas, whoever killed them, but even that, it, bro, shoot the fade, man. Like, y'all niggas is so pussy, bro. Like, right, but well, that was hate, bro. Like, but also, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like you don't know, like you know what I'm saying. We, we, that environment and like when people feel like they when they get to a level to where they do feel like they're untouchable, you know what I'm saying. We don't know how people are speaking to other people in their everyday, you know. And also on top of that, like when you are at that superstardom type level and you are, you know what I'm saying, in your hometown where because XXX bro, he didn't fall niggas, he didn't beat niggas up. I don't know if he really rep gang shit and shit like that, but you know what I'm saying. Florida is not no slouch of a place, and you want to, you know what I'm saying, especially when you're starting to get hundreds of thousands yeah. and millions of, you know what I'm saying, close to millions of dollars, and you're starting to become, you're starting to gain notoriety, like, you just, I don't know, bro. you, got, you, you don't want to say And you're yeah. a public figure, like, you get back to the homeless, Nick, for real, niggas don't hate that, sh niggas hate that shit, bro, for real, niggas be hate when niggas see you really doing something for a community, like, giving back to Oh shit. When giving back to the community and shit, like bro, that shit niggas be hating. Even though that's a good thing, and niggas shouldn't hate. Niggas hate cause they ain't doing it. So they like, bro, like that's just some weak shit. Like, bro, my nigga was really trying to buy a bike. It's hella fans out there. And then you feel me? The fucked up part was my nigga slumped in the front of the seat in the driver's seat slump. Niggas just looking like huh. All right, coming Nick up, touching his lifeless corpse, checking his pulse and shit. Like, like the people, his fans and shit, like it was just that was just very surreal to see somebody like I don't even really like watching shit like that on YouTube and shit like that. I'm not a fan of like snuff videos and shit like that, but it was just like you know, just to see that shit. Like it did we didn't see the actual shooting, but just to see, you know what I'm saying, somebody who like, like lifeless, like that's really crazy for real to really see like that shit. A 20 year old old man, like you feel me? I I know I ain't that much older, but you feel me? I'm I'm on a verge of 30, I'm 26. And I, you feel me? I've been through a lot, done it a lot, and to see it act to hear that, and then you feel me, I'm at work when I get the news, but I ain't even get the news from like the homie or the blogs and then I got that news from people who was in my job, customers. One it took one girl to scream, XX is dead. And then I swear to I put that on everything. All the girls in there crying, it's dudes in there crying, it's girls in there crying. I'm like, damn, it, it was so bad. I almost got teary. I had to go to the back. Like, bro, I'm, in, I'm working in the back today. Like, I can't, I can't be in the front. Cause it was probably, you know, what I'm saying, seeing somebody touch people's lives like that. Like, you know, and I didn't, really, I didn't listen to his music very, very, very deeply. But you know what I'm saying. He, he was he I, was talented. Yeah, he was talented. His music was good, and I can say he was aggressive. But what what really touched me is he he wasn't like how the Migos and Twenty One Savage and all these niggas is where they talking about bricks and doing like he talking about beating niggas up and killing niggas. But it went like at every track song thing. It was like the look at me now. He was talking to shit, but it was more of a I'm rapping. This you feel me? It's just it was just rap. You feel me? Just music. He, we we see him on video all the time shooting the ones. You feel me? Ain't nothing wrong with shooting the ones. It's nothing wrong at, with that at all. You feel me? I'd rather you shoot the ones than pick the gun up, take that L, come back another day, get that get that round back in. Like or just what this one was about was like. 
just being easily accessible. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't, I don't know, like, you know what I'm saying? Our reach, we try and touch people. We, we covering this shit just to try, you know what I'm saying? The different people who don't. There's so many of us in this world, bro. You know what I'm saying? We all just got to spread whatever info we can, but. Yeah, you got, you got to be positive. As far as, like, you know what I'm saying? Just even down to them having to drop on him and knowing where he was motherfucking at. Like, you, we, if you get to, if any of us get to that level, just your movement should be smarter with selling every document, everything you're doing, and everywhere you're going. And have security with yeah, you. Yeah, not taking that safety precautions, especially if you. I don't care if you in your hometown. And, and, that's where you need the most security in your hometown. I don't care what nobody talking. Cause you don't know who don't like you from when, bro. It could be niggas hanging you from like third grade, bro. Facts, like, bro, like I already know, like. When we when when we finally blow all the way up, you feel me? I'm getting the fuck up out the city. Like I still be here, come around, but you feel me? I ain't trying to be a millionaire staying in this fucking city. There's too many fucking haters here. You feel me? That niggas hating on you. You you could be broke, niggas hating on you. Like you feel me? It don't fucking matter. Niggas are smoking a nigga over anything yeah, nowadays. So if they know you, it's just like it just makes the hate a little bit more personal. Like you see a nigga making it that's just a regular rapper and shit like that, you just take it in like, oh, he's just a rapper and shit. But right. niggas see somebody that they know becoming successful and then now it becomes personal. It be, you know what I'm saying? And they just just protect yourself, but also with Jimmy Waffle, bro, rest in peace, bro. Rest shot nine peace. times in his, own, in his hometown. Nine shots, you feel me? And his friend that was with him was was murdered as well, you feel me? And Jimmy Waffle had already been shot two times, you know, so. Like, like that, shit, that shit ill, like, you feel me? All we gonna, hey, put the guns down, man. It, it's not, especially, hey, millionaires, like, that's why I be so, that's why, one of the reasons why I can't watch Love and Hip Hop no more. Like, at first, I used to love that show. I, I you know me, I love the ratchet, you feel me? But then, it start getting, it start getting to the point where I'm looking, I'm like, how you got mil? What are y'all really fighting over? Y'all, y'all fucking thousandaires, multi-thousandaires, millionaires. What the fuck y'all on here fighting for over nothing? And not even them though. It's like when you, yeah, the risk when you start getting money, calm some of that shit down. But also on your ascension and getting that shit, just just treat people around you better. Watch your surroundings more. You feel me? And. And, and start taking into account the things you got to lose, bro. Because both Tentacion and Jimmy Wapo leave behind, you know, Damn. children. You know what I'm saying? They leave behind people that were, they was helping out and taking care of. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, they and leave I, behind legacies. So I'm like, well, but who gonna like now? For real, for real. I know his mom is taking well, taken care of. But for me, that that young man left a mom behind. You feel me? He was still fighting the case. I know everybody wondering like, oh, Shit, his girl was pregnant. Oh, ask the Jimmy? girl. The, no, ask that sentence. Yeah, oh, yeah. So now he lived. Yeah, he okay. had an unborn child. The girl he got the domestic assault charge against the pending case. She is pregnant currently by him. It should be, but that's at least that's what I heard. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be giving false information, especially on the dead. But it's just just be careful. We're more careful out there. We just wanted to come to y'all real quick, real fast. Right. Which I wanted to say. cover that really, really quickly because you know what I'm saying. The episode is going to be out tomorrow, but we do, you know. It was shoot ahead of time. We just wanted to. We want to pay our respects, man. Pay our respects you know, for this. No, like you. Know, I know we might say a lot of wild shit on here. We we speak in our opinions and our truth, but at the same time, we don't want to see nobody dead. Like man, especially not no young man. You feel me? That man had that young man had a long career ahead of him. Only twenty years old. Only twenty. And even now, the other stuff that he was on my. I was out for a friend, and I'm banging on the sheet. People are passing like we gotta quit killing each other, like full fledged killing each other, man. Like unless going to jail is not cool. Playing with guns is not cool, man. You feel me? That that shit ain't that shit ain't cool. Like don't be out here. Like you feel me? I had to I had to check myself. You feel me? It was it was funny because the other day you feel me. I ain't gonna talk about that because I'm on probation. I can't have that. Yeah, just, yeah you know but just know, just no it. guns. Be smart, y'all. Really, for real, for real, man. Just find y'all faith, bro. Live life peacefully, bro. Leave all that drama alone. If niggas, like, bro, if it ain't, bro, if ain't nobody harming your mama or your family, bro, leave that shit alone, bro. Let niggas talk. Niggas talk all the day. Like, you feel me? I tell my little sister that all the time. She feel like she always got to 
entertain some shit. Even the, even my baby mom, all the women in my family, for real, including me. Sometimes, for me, my niggas got to tell me I, leave some shit alone. Cause for me, I know I know everybody don't like being disrespected. I know some people come from a time and place where they they not. You feel me? They they don't. You feel me? Uh, street niggas, bro. Let niggas talk, B. If it, bro, if it ain't no real life beat, bro, let that shit be. And it shouldn't be no real life beat. It's not especially right now in this the world we living in. We got too much to worry about than to be trying to beef with somebody. Just but, protect yourself and people out here, you know what I'm saying? Let's stop killing each other. Right. We got issues with people. You're not I'm person. not gonna say don't find, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying don't have issues with people and I'm not gonna say don't feel, but even if you're gonna have to do things to people, let's stop. At least let's try to stop killing each other, right, bro. Man. Shoot killing the, each other, bro. Shoot the fake. That's why I was. That's why I fucked with Soldier Boy so much. He was he was on killing niggas, but he was all like, let's let's fight, nigga. Let's shoot the fake. Let's do a boxing match. Niggas start training for it. So you let's know? just relax, man. This yeah. is the back of the class podcast, man. Cool no, kids, cool shit, bro. Out here, man. Moment of silence, man. Back of the class. Back of the class. Back of the class. Y'all motherfuckers be easy, man. We out here, you feel me? Uh-huh. Uh. 11397, nigga. A legend was made, nigga. Uh. Tune the fuck in. Turn me up, nigga. Lord, forgive me for my sins. Real shit. Stevie on the motherfucking beat, bitch. I took gang bang and I was born in the 90s. Bought 11, 12 when I first decided. What the fuck? I'ma claim who the fuck I'ma ride with. Bitch, I'm eight block of life, so I got that shit tied it. Teed up on these niggas like the offensive lineman Young and clocking out, I was putting that time in Niggas steady hating, cause they jumped in behind me I said fuck it, get this money, I'ma kill them with kindness Okay, uh oh, somebody about to get hurt Oh, she about to get hurt Yup That's what I'm talking about Oh shit. Run up, run up that bitch. Little bitch. Alexa sneaky ass. Right, little bitch. Get your ass down here. I kinda want her to win on the love. You know I'm a baby one. What's your bag? Don't let her run. Damn, she gonna put on the other one? Nope. Ooh shit. Babe, oh, babe, shit. Babe, babe, please get up. That look like that. She messed that move up. She just shoved her off the way. Right. Rusev day, bitch. She about to suck the shit out of it. You already know. That's your yeah. mark. You already know. She about to give her that good old Columbus face slap. Bitch, told you. You already know. Told you. She's the no. bitch. Let her know. Rep the city. Rep the city. Oh, Ooh, you're not, shit. You're not, that, we don't get, uh, fuck. You don't never Come on, go ahead and win. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, Use your finisher now, she can wake up. Okay. Oh shit. Shut. Oh my god. Come on, Naomi. Grab that bitch. You, you suck. She's just saving points. Saving. She won and just. Welcome to the back of the class podcast <laughs> where the cool kids talk about the cool shit, y'all. Uh, a lot of gang shit. My fault, y'all.
Shout out to the WWE. Ain't it money? It's money in the bank. You feel me? The women's is on right now. It's really going down. The men gonna have a hard time. They're, somebody gotta break something tonight. Somebody gotta die. Basically, Charlotte. Hold on, y'all, because wifey, Charlotte Flair, shout out Charlotte Flair. You shout know, out Charlotte. You know I love I'm you, girl. Anybody, uh, what is work. this, the impound? Yeah. I think Charlotte married. Oh, fuck. Oh, Bert. Spear. That's what I'm talking about, babe. I'm sorry, y'all. We, we getting there. Charlotte taking all day. I promise I'm going to get that truck. You definitely I promise you. I just let Charlotte win. Like, Sasha, you could, you could definitely win. Nope. Stop all the black on black violence, y'all. Oh my god. Now you got one more chick running in. So. Tired, just throw her out the ring. I don't know. That's a gas That's a gas Oh, Natalia. With a golden opportunity. Will it be that's a gas ring. That's a gas ring. That's a gas ring. What is it? I told you that bitch was going to win. She got me. No, she not. Charlotte got that ass. So, where's my house at? You know, I didn't know how that goes. Look on the, um, on the machine on the right-hand side, I tell you this stuff is rich. That's a house you can buy, I think. Hold on. Scroll down. Keep scrolling down. Oh. Let's go ahead and go until you see your house. Scroll down fast. Oh, I forgot all about Becky. Let's go, Becky. Where a personal vehicle at? Come back to personal vehicle. No, I'm trying to look at my house. I know your house and your car might be at your house. I'm, I'm with it. I'm, I'm with it. I'm with that too. Shout out Columbus, Ohio. Shorty putting on for Columbus right now. Columbus got it. Columbus got it. Shout out Alexis Bliss. Shout out Alexis Bliss. We had to check out our city. We had to rip our city. Right. I did want to show it to her, but I'm okay with that because the bitch was shitty. And she got that slap. You feel me? She really just be slapping hoes in the face. Slapping hoes in the face. It's amazing. I'm with it. Wait, man. What's the sound of hmm, hmm, hmm. Did something else just happen? Do we have breaking news, Mikey D? Yeah, I'm trying to make a camera. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. So, yeah, man. Today was Father's Day. It was, a, you know what I'm saying, a pretty productive day, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we chilling, man. We kicking it. Shout out to all the fathers and dads out there, bro. I feel bad, like, because I ain't going to kick with my dad. But he ain't want to kick with nobody. He kicked my sisters out. <laughs> he ain't want me to come over. He was over at his booze house. So, you know what I'm saying? Hey, shout out to that song, Booed Up. Right. He was Bibi Dad, dude. Yeah, hey, this right. bitch fast as hell. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean... No, we, we got hell topics. We got some footage for y'all today because, you know, we, we missed show last week. For me, so we're going to play a little catch-up. But one thing I want to get into is I want to I want to start off the show, uh, you know, get real rich the kid, man, because that shit was foul. Yeah. That, shit, that shit was fucked up. Especially after that Uzi Bird shit, I ain't going to count. You feel me? I thought Uzi had something to do with it. I and then, was a possibility, but then I was and like, then when I got yeah when I got the scoop, now I was like, no, that bitch set him up. There's no way you coming in my shit. The only way you can get to my house is through a key elevator. You gotta have a pin. How the fuck y'all niggas got my pin? How the fuck y'all know he was gonna be there at that, that time, time and had a pin number and pull up? And then everybody thinking just because she got punched in the face that means she ain't do shit. I'm like, bro, they just get shot in the leg to make it look like they ain't do right. shit it's all the time. That's bro. part that's of the setup. Yeah, that's part of the setup. I'm like, if for real for the bitch, they took a little butt into the 
for me. I'm he, like, she was up. Bro, she got hit with the bottom of the handle of the gun. It ain't like she even got hit with the. Boy, yeah, the he's hospitalized. Yeah, he he's hospitalized. You feel me? You talking about big gun, big boy gun? So that's telling me you ain't really get motherfucking. You say he pulled the pistol out. They had shotguns and shit, but they do the, They pulled the pistol out know. and and book. And, and your little sister honest, was there. I'm like, I'm, I'm questioning if it was big boy gun because I'm like, Rich the kid fought back. They right. said he fought back. If it was big boy gun, but they said was, they said the niggas he was in there with at the two niggas at first. The first he said it was two niggas that came in, but then there was ruckus. So the other three niggas came in with the big choppers. Came in after that. Telling everybody shut up. I'm like, let me see, Rich. You in the house with your girl, her little sister, and you. The little sister don't get touched. That was about to fuck her up, but the, she. Some people don't fuck with women and children. Right, you know, but I'm don't. like, I don't. Oh, you, you motherfucking, you pistol with one chick. You ain't you about to just not pistol with the other chick. Especially if you pistol with one chick, your sister going on. Well, maybe she goes jump but she might. She might. She might not. That, Babe, you were right in front of the camera. You gotta sit down. They pistol with her because she went, she kept breading her about. I cause she said, leave my sister alone. The sister crying, screaming. They ain't pistol with her. But the Wasun story said something, they pistol with that bitch. It don't say it don't seem right to me. Like me, you feel me? I I ain't never They probably just wanted to rob them. They probably ain't wanna beat everybody's ass, especially girls, but it just seemed like this whole setup seemed fishy, bro. And then she gets Definitely. Especially for the amount of niggas, bro, it don't seem it seems just like it, it don't seem spontaneous. It seems arranged. You feel me? That many niggas are not gonna have the drop on you in unison like that. Like especially in a remote location where, you know what I'm saying? If unless they already had a plan that he was coming through, or if you talk to your girl, like if you talk to your girl, you like I'm my Gary pull down. Da, 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 da. I'm about to be at niggas the house. is not gonna be sitting there laying in wait unless they wait on you. And know about the shit, or they being told by somebody. And I seen people saying he needed to have security. I'm like, you go to your girl house. Like, what well, that's not even your girl's house. You go to y'all's house, your house, your home that you live there. Y'all live together. She already explained that. So that right there, I mean, I'm like, oh, y'all live together. And he's like, we never knew nothing. We never knew nothing about where's the kid. We never even seen a condo of where's the kid. We would see other niggas in niggas' houses yet. We ain't never seen nothing. I uh, wish you kidding. No type of. Is that an asteroid? Yep. 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 So I'm like, I'm like, uh, it just seemed fishy to me. And then the whole key thing. It made me. I hate to go to the TV, but it made me think about power. When ghosts, you know, we're ghosting them. They leave in their keypad. Plus, yeah. then you gotta have the code to get in their crib. Niggas couldn't get in their crib. Yeah, can't get in the crib. Right then I'm right. like, then they had Kane. Remember when Fifty came in the spot, right. and was checking shit out. So I'm like, you, that gotta tell me one of y'all bitches said something. If it wasn't Richard's girl, it was her little sister, somebody. But I'm like, the other girls had like me. I done been in robberies and all type of shit, and I done seen how that shit go. Everybody get tied to fuck up. Everybody kids. It don't fucking matter. Right, Grandmas, yeah, right, everybody right. get tied the fuck up. Everybody got to sit the fuck still, shut the fuck up. We cut one of y'all loose as we leave it. So y'all can get in for me. Y'all can let everybody else go. Other than that, fuck out of here. There's no way you're going to hit one person in a robbery and then not do nothing to nobody. Two, pe two, 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 two people. Two, two people don't fucking got beat up. Rich got at his ass whooped, of course, and robbed. The girl got gun butter, but one girl just didn't get absolutely touched. I'm not buying that. I don't care. I don't understand niggas don't fuck with girls and children. Rich been having a rough ass time. Facts, bro. Oh, bro. This that divorce, the motherfucking this shit. But if even even his wife stepped up and was like, "Look, bro, I'm still wife. I'm still wifey." And then a part of me also thought she might have had something to do with. They go through the divorce. She can't touch this nigga. Well, it's the perfect time to set that nigga up because there's so much to go on with him that you're like, oh, like, oh, because remember, it first get reported, we like, oh, he had something to do with it. But then you like, oh, well, now you think it's a possibility, but then when you think of robbery and plus also, I, I wouldn't have put down on Uzi. I don't. I would. I, 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 I think that I think that their animosity was at a level of Uzi is just wanting to fight that nigga. I wouldn't put down on him at that level of like, he really wanted that nigga to really get touched yeah, like I, that, I, bro. I, I, you I look at it high side, got, but when in the moment when it first happened, I'm just like, bro. And then, like, y'all thought yeah, about that, but, before you got the but at the same time, we also ain't millionaires. 
but you also don't got money. When you got money, you can send niggas your way. It happens, it happens all the time in the rap game. It happened with Gigi and Gucci. Gucci, right. It, it, six nine and shit. It happens, bro. It, 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 it is what it is, bro. If you got money, you can pay niggas to take care of shit. Yeah. You feel me? I can't touch this nigga, but I want this nigga. They both were dropping personal shit. Fuck that. I'm. A, that's what I thought about. Cause we, when see me when I think about beef, I think about like real life beef, like niggas war. Like I ain't gonna yeah, say war. When you Uzi pulling up with no shirt on, just wanting to fight, that don't lead me to you wanting a nigga to get jumped by multiple people to get killed. When that you, lead me to the level you pull of beef up? that you at is. Let's run and shoot this fade one v one. I don't want you to die. I don't want you to get shot. That's that's where he putting it at. He letting it be known. I'm trying to come see you man to man. No guns, no bullshit. We can record this shit, but I'm just trying to beat your ass. So to jump from that to because you didn't get sick, nigga, stick up. That, 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 you, a nigga came to your city and you didn't get him. You tried to get him. You pulled like you said. Well, I'm really coming from. I'm just telling you where my mind is. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. He realizing that Uzi probably most likely didn't do it. Right. I understand where you're originally, but no, we. I, I don't want to even die unless you really think that he did. Do you still think that he might have did it? Duh. Okay, I mean, no, we ain't no. no reason I'm, I was like, dive into but, how he might have but it is a reason because just because we don't don't mean somebody that's watching this don't feel that way. You feel me? We don't. We we can't control what other everybody else thinking. Me, I look at it from both sides. I look at it from all angles. Like he, like Kev said, Rich has been in a lot of incidents lately. A lot of incidents. Whether it's going back to back and forth with DJ Drama, cause he out on DJ Drama on how he scheme a little Uzi, the shit with little Uzi. You feel me? Little Uzi feeling the tech. When you got the fucking Migos who's known for riding around beating niggas up, and you got Offset talking about, bro, you got smoke with Rich, nigga. I'm bringing the chimney, my nigga. Ain't nobody gonna fuck with Rich. That's what I mean. Now you running up on Rich? It, it's just too much shit. I look at all the variables and all that bullshit. But like I said, I think that girl set him up. Cause well, like I said, once I got the information, like when we when all that information came up, that the number one thing was key access, bro. Nick, who key got access the, at the drop? The drop was the biggest shit. Right, yeah, the drop. But I'm like, shit like that just don't happen spontaneously, bro. When you catch a nigga for a robbery like that, bro, is. And it's sort of robbery, bro. It takes planning, bro. Like, unless you really just land and wait, waiting on a nigga. You right. Know? You And even with that, bro, it's still some sort of information. Like you said, how you just know where Rich the Kid live at, what floor he on, where, like, you just... The key goes to his yeah, the crib. key goes, all that. That's too much information for you to have. And the time frame that he gonna get there. Because if they, from what they saying, he, like, you know what I'm saying, he's a celebrity. He's always out and about doing shit. Yeah, that's his house, but for you to just get the drop oh, on him, bro, like, nah. And it's something. a message I wanted to give out. Let's see the bomb. Yeah. Fellas, whenever you arguing with your girl, and she's like, yeah, nigga, I got something for you, nigga. Take that in full strike. I ain't saying go beat her up or do nothing, but make sure you keep that in your head. Keep that in your motherfucking mind, bro. And then not to mention, I reason I feel like I said, like I said, he got caught up. He fucking his artist bitch. He fucking Black China. Oh, yeah, it could he, be, yeah, it could be me. This girl could be sorted as fuck. Like, oh, it the, could be his nigga. It could be anybody. Right. You got that many enemies, bro. It could be anybody right. that can set you up to get to bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It could be niggas that he That's why I was saying there's like a perfect time to set him up, to set him up. Because he ain't so much. Going so on. much. Yeah, right. And so that's why I said he got to chill out. Because, right. hey, bro, you. You bring that could have been anybody who could have just not liked right. him. Like, man, now fuck that nigga, bro. I, bro, I and know they had such that. a drop on you, bro. You better be lucky you kept your life. Fast, you bro. Died, you that really, you, you supposed to die. He bro. already fu he fucked up real bad. So he be done to hear the fuck up. Yeah, he, he, he back, he back, he, he back home and shit. Cause he was, he shout was out on, to everybody in the room. And he shout out, out, he was on the, his girl was on. back with that. No, she, and that's the thing. He was back in, they was at their other crib. Cause she was on live snap. And he was telling her like, man, shut up. Shut up. He kept telling her this. He kept going. So that nigga got up and then they said, you know, you seen her fondling of the phone. So I'm like, no, chill. Fuck that. So I'm not about to keep saying I set you up and I set you up. I'm like, this bitch did it, bruh. Right. There's no way you, there's I no way know. anybody gets robbed and gun butted. And then you get hot right on fucking Instagram live. Like, yeah, I just got robbed. And then still, you still looking pretty as fuck. You just got that one black eye part. You you didn't you didn't put no makeup Why on that. Why unconscious as fuck? On in the the right. School. Why you ain't in the hospital with that nigga? Ain't no time to be in a motherfucking. Why you ain't scared for your motherfucking life and really trying to, like, shit. She need to be. Try to go to war. I'll be like, life. bro, like, shit, these niggas got the drop on us like this. Like, uh-uh, bro. Like, 
That's when I would be bringing, like any real female, or at least not any, well, not any real female, because some females do be about that war time shit with you. But some females, they would be like afraid yeah. after some shit like that happened to them. Like, they'd be like, man, I don't know if I can keep fucking with you if you got niggas kicking doors in and hit me. Like, you know what I'm saying? I could've got shot, my sister could've got shot, anything over this shit, like. Right. But she's just trying to so hard to prove that she ain't said, but. Also, this is the world of social media. media. Right. And she is a fucking model, so that's affecting her career. Right, yeah. And so I'm like, it, it's just hard for me to look at it both sides. But like the game said, everybody been saying, bro, that's a setup. Right. Like, it's a setup. It's and a then the game told that nigga, like, you in L.A., nigga? Fuck, give me a car, nigga. Get me a car. We're going to chop it up, bro. And I guarantee you ain't nobody going to touch you in L.A. And we won't get these niggas. Like, the game was like, bro, that bitch sent you up for us. Flat out. But on another note, since we talking on LLA, I want to talk about this nigga Lonzo Ball diss track on Kyle Kazuma. Yeah, it might be a little late, but I respect it. I fuck with it, and I think he getting traded. Yeah, Who that's what I was going. Kyle Kazuma. <laughs> well, so they're on the what, same team. They both on the Lakers. This, yep. This is what I voted to that for. This is what that to me. With the fact LeBron trying to go there, mm. it could cost Lonzo because. For him to be doing shit like that, if LeBron really be like, look, I'm going there, nigga, it's oh, oh. LeBron, nigga. It's like, bro, it is. whatever request he has. And to seeing the fact that the Spurs, Leonard got to get traded, and he going to L.A., and the L they going to ask for one of them star niggas. And if Lonzo the one okay, acting the fool. LeBron and Kawhi Leonard get on the same. Oh, this is the reality. Team. This is the, 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 this Leonard. Is, wait, wait, that, that, that's one of the topics, too. But yeah, like well, since we on that a PG, they they they, they lines is supposed to be PG, LeBron James right, and Kawhi right. Leonard. We got back it up. All right, we got back it up. All right, let's back it up real quick. All right, Lonzo. So this time, hold on, hold on, Lonzo. This time, we gotta get to this. That's what I said. That's what I stopped. That's what I stopped. I was like, let's get deep, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, right, right. The Lonzo this track. Nah, 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 Bro, yeah, you put him on blast. He was like, you, you talking all this flint shit, bro. You from the outsides of Flint, nigga. You ain't tough, nigga. You if you if, if he was like, if you the bullet, nigga, I'm the gun. Fuck you talking about, nigga. You wanna like Lonzo was really spitting on boys, let him have he dropped personal. He was dis disrespectful. He was aggressive. He gave you everything. Aggressive. Right. <laughs> he gave you everything you wanted in a diss track. This is Crazy. Literally, right. That's the same. That was my same reaction. That's why I kept listening. And niggas was like, bro, now nah, fuck out of here, because Lonzo, that they don't want to accept him as a rapper because he a basketball player. Because he got a big face. That too. Well, he and he, like his whole that's same a, no, situation. No, it's not that. It's because the fact before this, the other shit he was dropping was average as fuck. Yeah, it was. We average. definitely do accept rappers. Cause we de we accept Damian Lillard because he got them bars. And yeah, we shout out Damian Lillard. We bro. definitely shout, accept shout out fucking rappers. Shout out Freestyle rappers. Fridays. He the one who really bought that Freestyle Friday yes, he did. Yeah, yeah. He had everybody. He the reason Fab dropped the Friday night. Um, Friday night uh, lights mixtape. Yeah, shit. yeah. We definitely gotta respect the NBA. And he got Wayne right and Shaq. They, they do their thing. And Demi Lillard got Wayne and Shaq on that song. Came a long way from Shaq showing fucking songs out here and Sha Ron Artest out here. Remember when song. Shaq and Kobe had the rap beef? Shaq, fuck Kobe. Shaq, fuck Kobe. Shaq, <laughs> Shaq kiss my ass, bro. That shit was hilarious, bro. Shout out Shaq because he went platinum both albums. Just want to say that. And this was before. Before two hours, before it was strings, my nigga, when you had to actually go cop that shit, my nigga was going platinum. Two platinum albums, bro. Can't tell Shaq shit. Two platinum. Say he like all he want, but he like Simpson Shocker, bro. Like, we platinum artists, bro. Nigga, our, niggas was buying, like, actually buying our shit. But so, the, I mean, that nigga Lonzo, that shit was sweet, but... Yeah, I mean, like so. What happened? Didn't they tell him that they gotta stop them? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. Kyle had the diss track and he was about to drop it. He he had dropped. They took that shit off before niggas could really hear it, and then they told these niggas they had to chill out. Right. right. But I see this so many times in sports. What they I was Lazo could possibly get traded from the Lakers. The only reason I don't see it is because before that nigga got to the NBA, LeBron was watching the nigga also at almost every summer league game that nigga had. 
Then after that, LeBron put emphasis on how he wanted to play with Lonzo. He just don't fuck with Lonzo's dad. I'm Secondly, be, I'm gonna be 100 though. Lonzo's dad ain't been here, bro. The the thing for me is though is we talking quiet money, and we talking like Man, top it. nigga in the league, and the Spurs is gonna be like, all right, what do we want? Now I can't, I don't know where they want to go with this, but if they say Lonzo. <laughs> It's like, bro, you gonna keep Lonzo over Leonard? You about to put LeBron Leonard and Paul George? But they side. got other, they got so many other asses. Lonzo, for real, you still got Brandon Ingram. He's gone. That's why I said Kyle it, Kazuma, it depends Julius on Randall. what the Spurs want. Because the first round you're trying picks. to get that Leonard. Dog, them first rounds ain't gonna matter when they we giving up the whole entire franchise. It's definitely gotta be one of them superstars. Yeah, if you giving up for a season, I just, you might as well just get Right, I, but I see a three-way right. trade because they, they just was talking about how uh, the Spurs was going to get Kwame Leonard. If they do let him go, they was going to try to get Kyrie from Boston because Boston is trying to ship Kyrie. If LeBron and Kawhi on the same motherfucking team, that's going to be ridiculous. With a Paul George, my nigga. Paul George, see, and that's a good thing. See, this is the thing with the Lakers. All they got to do is make that trade for Kwame. LeBron... And Paul George, free agent. That's so why I made no trades. That's players. why it's nasty too, because that nigga Brandon Ingram played point guard. He was averaging seven assists. He got handles. He's small forward. That's why they said they could go with a whole small forward lineup. Yeah. From point guard straight through. It's point just all like niggas. For power forward. Just all power forward. And then draft all more small forward. Yeah. I like. I see. Let's talk about it. The Lakers. I want to. I want to shout y'all because I see y'all. I seen y'all watch Boston. You and Boston both did the same fucking thing. Y'all both got them. Boston got smart though. They got rid of them big ass contracts ASAP. They was like, you know what? KG Paul Pierce, we y'all got those ring. I ain't get it the next year. Y'all niggas done. We out. We breaking this bitch up. Boston was smart though. They seen the future. Because when they tried to Avery Bradley and all them niggas like, to, like, uh, y'all niggas are all right, but they, we know better. Like, Boston and LA the did the same thing, but they went about it two different ways. Boston seen it a little early. LA was like, fuck it, we just gonna tank. We just gonna let Kobe play out. Facts. We go, we go suck her up. We not trade though. Yes, G. LeBron probably will get a ring if I see Leonard and LeBron on the same. It ain't no problem. Our ring is happening, bro. <laughs> what you, bro? What? Golden State can't fuck with them niggas. Golden State gonna be sorted. They don't have to start all over and rebrand that whole nah, team. I don't know because they still heavy hitters. I mean, they will but now what? Who I can definitely when you got my way through a lot LeBron, of shit. You see what LeBron did by himself. When you add that to Kwame Leonard, Kwame Leonard went. Well, he got when the, swept this year. When the run, yeah, but he still it was you know, with no help. I didn't watch the game. When did he had no help and it was like them games was he only got blown out the I last game. I don't even want to talk about that. Really? Game one was just. That, that's the fuck that whole That shit is like fake, what happened in game one. That shit was unrealistic. Like, niggas don't do shit like that. Facts. <laughs> like, you the only nigga. That's why, he ain't got, nigga. that's why he ain't got no basketball career no more. Like, Jared Smith is out the league. He, he got to finish off the contract, contract he got right no, now. he got a contract. But, he but when that the- contract up, he getting traded off Cleveland this year, this offseason. Mm-hmm. That's just, regardless of LeBron there or not, nobody wants to see J.R. Smith in the Cleveland. Cavaliers. They about to trade him on some Lamar Odom type shit for like an autograph. Like Mark Cuban did that nigga Lamar Odom so dirty when he traded that nigga for an autograph picture, a five like five thousand dollars, and it was some it was some other boy. It was something else like super. It didn't even involve that get him money. Lamar hey, Odom money. He still had because he's still on contract. They with NBA no contracts is guaranteed. You get that brick. Mm-hmm. No matter what. Right. That's why the Lakers sorted about Lou Al Dang. That nigga ain't played in like three years. And this year he's supposed to make $37 million. 37. That's still on the books. Oh, he getting traded. Yeah, he, he get part of that trade. He got to go. No, whoever, yeah. He, he, he's on. He's, he's That's going. why they were saying it was a three way trade to us because he got to be involved for them to get winner. But we ain't keeping that nigga. So he got to go. He got to go to a whole other team. in two years, nigga. To, we ain't seen you. We ain't even seen you dress, nigga. And you talking about we ain't seen you on the bench. I, I don't even know if you allowed in the stadium. I don't even know if you got a locker room. They thirty seven million dollars this year, bro. This one they was just giving out checks. Right, it's out niggas out here. Right, it's yeah. niggas out here really balling their heart out. Super nice. Yeah. Right down, bro. So I'm like. It is what it is. But on to the next topic. We want to talk about Jay Z and Beyonce, man. Did it again. This time they taking over the world together. This time, 
We from me first, it was the lemonade shit, then we had the four for four, and now we got the Carters. Put that on, put that on vibrate. All I can remember say is from the first couple of people I seen that did hear, they were saying they ain't like it. Yeah. Well, like well, on the low. I haven't heard it. I heard one song yeah, and I thought it was so okay. So I fun. thought the song I heard was okay, it was good. It wasn't bad at all. It, was, it yeah. felt like a Beyonce song more than you Jay-Z, know it was. but I was like Jay Z don't wanna rap no more. He only do it because he got the title of greatest rapper alive for majority of the industry right now. And also, you feel me? You got Beyonce and everybody been wanting a Beyonce Jay Z joint album. I think that album more catered to their tour than it actually and, and good. I, yeah. I think it's just more rebel pre- even the song I heard, it felt like, oh, y'all just did this. Like, y'all probably just put this together. This wasn't like no thought out, oh, we about to make this a super project or whatever. Yeah. Too much money, you just be got like Did you hear any of it? Like, I heard, like, no, I, I got to hear, I heard Boss, which is the, uh, the song, which is another topic of mine. Down, no, 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 no. I didn't put it on. Oh, yeah, I did. It's a topic. But I heard Boss, the track Boss, where. It was taking, if he took like three, four shots, maybe at Drake, it was definitely one guaranteed shot. It was like a long little part, but he definitely, he, but for real, I thought it was on some whole shit. Like, bro, I'm like, get out your feelings. You mad at Drake because he ain't signed a title, nigga? That's what the, I'm like, bro, you mad because the nigga was like, okay, you want niggas to have ownership. I'm with that and all that. But a nigga already under contract, and then you got Apple paying oh, no, you twenty million dollars. It front. might be an ego thing for that nigga because maybe he, he feel like you ain't supporting us as a, as a black. Because for Drake to come out and be like a well, you know Drake saying with his little thing saying he Jay Z, he, he in the position of yeah. Jay Z now. Maybe Jay Z like well, nigga, you not really. In the position of me, stop posing. I mean, it's the yeah, same and I, thing and that happened was, with Wayne. That's what he was this saying the on the track. Thing. It was like, bro, nigga, what I'm making, bro, you ain't even remotely close to what my money is. And right it's now. even worse because remember back when Wayne was getting into it with him, and at least it was way more believable back then. Niggas really was like, all right, Wayne was getting yeah, it. But he got let niggas know. He told me got a hundred million dollar check. And it's like it. Drake, we know you got bread. You have more bread than the rappers that's current out. But we ain't talking about no current rapper. We talk about a nigga that like nigga, nigga. Yeah. We talking about rapper now. <laughs> like so, this nigga money is stupid. Like. Yeah, definitely Jay didn't have to go out his way to put that out though. Like it's been over with, like bro. Chill, bro. Right, that's why I'm like, that's why I'm like, bro, you talking about now, bro? Just cause title booming a little bit now, bro. But guess what? Y'all still did some fluke shit, like the whole Nas album was supposed to drop on Friday. Man, me? that shit took forever. I was so Cause Jay Z and Beyonce took here, they dropped their album the same time as Nas album. The same time. So what they did was and Nas is under Rock Nation. You feel me? He's with Title and all that. What they did was they was like, all right, Spotify, y'all get. Oh well, what you call just? I no, that's not. And now that you bring that up, that could be the reason. Nas is not under. Nas has an independent deal with Def Jam, and he just signed this deal to sign himself. He got his own label and stuff. Mass Appeal with Dave East and them is Nas shit. All them niggas is under Nas. He just, oh, this album is a new feature that he signed himself that he got his own albums out now. He ain't under nobody. He just signed himself to himself. No, it's a part, he said it on the album too, but I read the whole article that go with this album. So this was the coming out party of him leaving all them niggas. Yeah. So this might be the but reason then, why. When you look at it, he did that, which is like, all right, it's cool. Cause he's still under Dev Journal. So it's cool. But then, you have Kanye produce that whole shit, and you know me, Kanye going at it. Kanye also promised Barack Obama that he would do an album. He put now, I said he promised. Don't it fucking Obama. matter, bro. Jay Z ain't feeling that. Like Jay Z said in that interview. Jay Z gotta quit thinking that. You, you said something. You, you brought my Jay-Z. wife. You said something about my wife. Even though he ain't say nothing negative, it was he just exposed the fact that they was like, we're not doing your well, show. Well, Nas and Jay Z ain't never really been cool. Right, right. So, let's think about this whole time. Yeah. All these years that he been signed to him and mysteriously ain't no music been dropping. 
So maybe that has something it. to do with it right. too, right, bro? Like, yeah, we don't know how cool was, Jay right. was. That, Jay was signing a whole bunch of niggas. That's, just why, like, just to that's be, why I said Jay might, Jay and Beyonce might be on that petty shit. Jay, Beyonce right now is on this whole, I'm riding with my husband hard. That's why she said that shit but kind of like, we're trying to get more Grammys in it. These niggas, da 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 Jay Z's the greatest rapper. He should, no, da 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 da. So now they're trying to bring that in. And then you see Kanye, every, he produced everybody's thing album fully on his label. From Designers Little EP to Pusha T's, his own, The Kid Cudi, which we about to get into, Nas, fuck it, Tiana Taylor, we about to drop Friday. Everybody. He's just, he's just doing his music. He really on the music scene hard. When you on the music scene, Kanye's in a position to really, he's going to win a couple Grammys this couple of this, this next year. Definitely. He was in his feelings, though. The song, the song that I did here, too, he, he announced the Grammys. He saw me about that going 0 for 8 at the Grammys uh, last year. He was... But wasn't he up against, like, Kendrick and... Mm. Didn't matter. He it's just right, felt like bro. eight what, categories. He felt like he should have won one of them. Eight categories. categories, and y'all calling me the greatest rapper alive, and I don't win no award. And he did drop four for But he also got it, had a beef with the Grammys. Before right, that. so like, and that he, but he, it don't matter. Tried. Drake got a beat with the Grammys, but Drake still win. Drake, all remember, Drake was like, Man, I'm winning Grammys, I don't even want these motherfuckers. I don't know, low though. Drake don't be winning that many Grammys, and he kind of played that off by saying, Just pretty much my album sales conquer all that because damn near everybody got more Grammys than Drake on the low. Drake got a couple, Drake got like 12. No, he don't, yes, he do, bro. Cause it, you got to think you any yeah. any any songs that he gets featured on that got a Grammy, he gets part of that. Remember, Drake writes a lot of shit in after the Grammy just because he don't get publicized. But if you're in right, the right, but I, I had just looked up when this was Grammy. She had like four. We got way, way more than four. four. We got way more than four. I'm about to look at it right now. I'm about to say he got way more. Than, he had at least seven. I know that for sure. He got at least seven. At least he, seven. On the road, he don't got that many. It's going to be a shocking truth with him. He just has album sales. A lot of his albums don't be critically acclaimed albums. They be it's popular. Like way more than four. How many he got? Oh, wait. Hold on. It's say three. Told you. Well, he don't got that many. He nominated for a lot. He oh, got nominated, but he don't be winning. His album sales be just what he goes by in his popularity, but he don't be winning the Grammys. Like that... It'd be hard as fuck to win them Grammys. So like, yeah. That's a whole different category. It just it do, man. And I also want to talk that album, the Apes just saw how it took that little shot at Six Nine. Very intro. I like that. Cause Six Nine has been talking. I'm the king of New York. Jay's from New York, and we all look at. And even though if you don't, even if you're not a fan of Jay Z, when you hear New York, what's the first artist that come to your head? For real, for real. When you hear New York, when you think about New York, you think about Biggie, Jay Z, Nas, greatest rapper in the game, Jay Z. Everybody say Jay Z, the king of New York. He be talking about all that work he put in on the block. Now he's got this little nigga six nine. Jay Z ain't never acknowledged this nigga as no type of king. All the old school niggas is like. We happy Brooklyn back on the map. But I think that niggas got the old niggas out learning. Let the young niggas rep that shit at they time. Like, let him be, let all the young niggas fight for that crown right now, bro. Like, you got the crown, bro. Like, you hold, like, I think that that's like, when you stupid, like, you ain't doing nothing but putting more fire on his flame, helping him out. And I mean, like, you just, like, why would you even compare yourself to his level? Like, like I, like, I don't know. That feel to me. What up, what up, what up? But I, like, the way he did it, the, the way he did it, he did it off of, uh, he did it in Otter Chief Key. Because he said he did that uh, Finito. He took the Finito little thing and he wrapped it. Supposedly like Finito. From what I, from what Kevin DeLon was telling me. That shit was sweet. He said, ride, the ride in the fucking coop. Ride to the zone, whatever. He, he, like, he, he went, he snapped. He did it in the same cadence as Chief Key did it on Finito. You definitely knew it was a respected chief. Right. That shit, so I was way. like, I, I, also, you know what I'm saying? That's also the enemy of my enemy is my friend type shit, which I also feel like that's just, if you even putting yourself in that situation, like you got these two niggas beefing, they arguing, and you like, yeah, chief, I, I rock with you anyway, because I don't like this little young nigga out here. I'm like, he the king of New York. I'm the king of New York. Like, bro. How fucking childish do you fucking sound, bro? Like, for one, neither one of y'all niggas had an actual crown of shit. Let's be all the way real. It's all debatable. 
Secondly, yes, you got it's your accolade. You, you, you got your accolade, bro. We gave you your shit, bro. You just, you the greatest rapper alive, arguably. You the king of New York, arguably. All of that shit, all of that shit is cool. But this thing is like fucking 19, you like fucking 48, bro. Why are you arguing with a 19? It, bro, if yeah, it was a real yeah. life thing, and since I was out like here, like out in the street, like nigga, I won this whole city. This city is my city, and Jay Z stopped. Like, hold up, young blood, I run this city. Like, bro, what? <laughs> what is happening? Why are you arguing with him, bro? I like, I, I keep I, I, walking. But that's all them top niggas do is throw but subliminals all day. That's, that's why New York is. That's why t- that's why six nine is the way he is. Right. Yeah. He is in New York. He ain't case. Never. That's how exactly. How it's it, it's in their nature. It's no matter that's how, how they get. It, that's in their that, nature. That's, 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 that's why I fuck with him because he. For real, he is the 50 Cent of this era, bro. He's doing everything 50 did when he was coming out, 6 9 is doing. Minus the whole little, that case that he had. Other than that, everything that he's done, 50 has done. 50. Get shot. Yeah. Besides That's what launched 50 as superstar. He almost died and then dropped the hardest shit ever. Yeah, because it, I mean, he was dropping hard shit before he got no, shot. No, he dropped Get Rich Guy Trying, then got shot, didn't he? No, no, he that dropped it before. Because then many men can... Yeah, because so he, he, yeah, he, 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 so he had... He had to put something... He had to put something... He had to put Where he was talking about robbing everybody. Well, he was talking about how to rob, where he was talking about how to rob. Yeah, rob, that, that, like, yeah. all them mixtapes, like, granted, I went back and listened to him after I heard Gear Richard Dark Trying, because I ain't know nothing, but we was young as fuck. It was O three. 3 We didn't really know. The mention is... It's a slow burn. They got to get across the nation. Like, he was in New York from New York. Just like the Dipset movement... We probably know how big it was, but we probably will we never not probably we'll never know how huge it was for Jim Jones, Cameron, Freaky Zeke, and all them to live in New York, be dipset and be I say in this, New York. It was huge. It was like, huge. Like that shit was huge everywhere. Yeah, it was huge everywhere. We had a dipset. It was huge everywhere, but we didn't live in the city of this New York true, when yeah. they are you walk around, you listen to, like, imagine when Lil Wayne was the best rapper alive, but Lil Wayne is always around We had around something the like city. that. We had a nigga named, he was from the South Side. We had a nigga named by the name of Lil Hollywood. He got signed to Cash Money. He still signed to Cash Money. It was like one of the, it was a big, big thing in the city because he used to ride around the city in his tour bus and shit. It was crazy. And he used to have Wayne art. You can still go look up YouTube videos of Wayne and Columbus. When I was watching uh, all the gang shit in about, uh, in, Felt like all well, the games in Columbus, you feel me? He was on there because they had Wayne and Bird. He had Wayne and Birdman down here out south and shit from where he from. It's, it's like, probably moderately close, but even again, you like it's more speaking to Wayne and Birdman being here. Oh, yeah, bro. Street. You know, in the they city, got it out of the mud in their city, and in their city, it probably they was yeah, bro, it was like, God like there, yeah, yeah. like to really be but that's the same. Them from that's them. just New York. They lucky though, bro. They had all the sweet shit because they had G Unit, they was around there. They was a big ass thing. That was a big thing. Dipset was a big ass thing. They New York is. Hip hop, they got a big My ass big, culture thing. Yeah, man. like New York is a big place. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. Shout out you. there for real too. Like yeah. the actual rappers, really the the actual, the actual rapper. rappers, they know kidnapping and drugs and getting shot in the city out front of motherfucking. They yeah. thought that that nigga that got shot in front of the motherfucking uh, station. I thought that was fake though. Because a lot of them niggas in New York really do the shit. You know about the nigga that got shot in front of the radio station? No, that shit was real. That's why the game with 50 had that real long beat because I was 50's nigga that got shot. 50 was sorry about that shit. Like, bro, fuck that. It's war, bro. Y'all took a nigga on Martin, bro. He didn't die. I'm talking about it was a nigga that didn't die. Oh, I know. I know one of his niggas died. No, I'm not. That's, I'm not talking about that. Oh. It was a guy who got shot in front of the radio station and then went and did an interview afterwards. And he got, like, got shot in his leg. Like, everybody be like, bro, that shit was fake. That's oh, what niggas be saying. But I don't know. Oh, yeah. Know. Uh, I don't know. You know, them niggas, niggas, like you said, niggas in New York get shot all the time. I remember when Cameron got shot by them DC niggas. <laughs> that nigga was right. You seen him. He got shot up all in his arms. He was just wrapped up like, yeah, no niggas shot me. I don't give a fuck. Little oh, man, still out there smoking weed. Him and Jim Jones. I'm like, y'all niggas wild. Man, you no know, kidnapping motherfucking trap lords and shit for ransom because they talking shit. I'm like, New York really, like, when I hear New York rappers, I really look at them like, no matter who they are, you from New York, when you rapping that gangster shit, I believe it. Like, I'm scared that, I'm, when I hear the words Buck 50, 
I just scared for my life because I'm like, bro, I'm not trying to end up with that Joker smile. And I done seen niggas with a lot of stitches, like with stitches, and it ain't gonna be nowhere near 150 stitches. So I'm trying to imagine what the fuck you gotta cut a nigga's face like. Niggas got just razors in their mouths playing with. I'm like, bro. We got that. We got the Kid Cudi album up next. Like. I thought it was. I I, I thought it was a. It went, it went better than Walk on the Moon, but let's be real. But we gotta accept as people, like for real, for real, it's rare that you get an album from an artist that's better than his first album, for real. I thought that. And, and I don't wanna say that, but people get get really caught up in nostalgia. Like people be wanting to compare niggas to where they was at, but it's really like you need to compare it to where right. you was at in your life, nigga. Like you really. You really focusing on like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, bro, this nigga was doing da 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 It's like, no, nigga, you was doing da 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 when this mixtape came out. And then every time you hear that mixtape, it reminds you of some shit back in the day. But, I mean, also, it can it can be sometimes some shit just don't be as good. But niggas also really get caught heavy on nostalgia. Because also, you feel me? Like, it's just like with anything else, bro. Like, when you first get introduced to something, it's amazing. Like, you feel me? Just like, just like your first... Relationships or early loves and shit like that. Real. Like even with relationships now, new relationships you get into, you don't even really be thinking that them shits be as good as the old ones that you have. But that's just because you're so used to relationships and shit. Get wrapped up in the past. Yeah, right up in the past. Like they're really like you can't let nothing be fresh because you're so busy. Like nah, but this first first shit, it's like bro, let a new album drop. Stop listening to shit from 2006, my nigga. Like good music do come out, nigga. Yeah, like they. But ahead, was it? I mean, and also it could have just not been that sweet. Cause Man on the Moon was way longer too. Man, the Kid Cudi album was sweet. Yeah, the Kid Cudi album. It definitely, it definitely it had was, some sweet ass. It was sweet. There. I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and say it wasn't sweet. If you a Cudi, it's it's was Cudi. You know how Cudi is. Cudi not a like. It's not only no hardcore rapping. You know how Cudi and his melodies and his singing and his style. It mixed out with with Kanye West. If you're a fan of Kid Cudi and you like his style. It was definitely up in his, up, up his alley. It was definitely his style. I um, I thought it was sweet. They they had the uh, the Ghost Town Part Two on there. That was pretty sweet. Um, he had some good songs. Yeah, I mean, he was just trying to talk some personal shit. I got I got, yeah, I got, I got the track man, right here. I, okay, so feel the love. That song goes nuts. I don't care. That yeah, yeah, that Kanye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Niggas say they hate that shit. I'm like. Kanye is a it's fucking Kanye dude. Being Kanye. But he does it at like the right time. It ain't like he just being annoying with it. Like some famous dance type shit. Mixed, yeah, it yeah was and I'm like, so I, I really fucked with it. Fire, it was, I like fire. Fire was hard. That fire was the one was, with the bars. Them niggas was rapping on and that. And then you feel me? You got Fourth Dimension. Niggas was good, good song. You got Free, which is Ghost Town Part 2. Ghost Town is the follow, Ghost Town Part 2 is the follow up to Ghost Town on Kanye's album. You feel me? Which was the last track on Kanye. You got Reborn. I like the song, but I, I ain't gonna cap. I could do without it. It's, it was just... And that's the thing. Every album, for real, is You know how every album got that one song, even though it ain't, you, it ain't gotta be whack. It's just... you like, oh, that's a good song, but the album would've still been fire without it. So you like I see what they was going for, but I don't need to listen to this song all the time. Facts. But, but as long as it goes wait with the formula or what other album where at, at, at least it says something. That's the thing. Sometimes if a song just says like makes a point, it's gotta make that point, but it's gotta be good. It gotta sound good. Reborn is one of those songs for me is I'm not really a super, I'm not super high on it right now. Mm. But who's to say Four or five months from now, I'm like, be like, bro, I was stripping. The weekend got some songs like that, yeah, like, like just to beat throw you off, but then you listen to it on accident that, one day, and that shit goes. Yeah, for real, that's how I got. That's how I was with the Migos. Like I'm like, ah, fuck with the Migos, but I don't, I don't really know. And then I finally was like, fuck, it, I'm gonna give culture a chance, and got him like, I was tripping. I was, I see what the buzz is with Quavo. I see what niggas is really talking about now. Why right? niggas really? I see where the Dick Ryan coming from. So you feel me? Kids see Ghost. That's one of my favorite songs. That's one of my favorite songs. And the uh, Cuddy, um, the montage, Cuddy montage. Mont montage. 
Yeah, I, that song was good too. Like I said, Cuddy, Cuddy and Kanye snap, but I was way more impressed that of Kanye's production than anything. Because Kanye musically, you've been saying that for like every one of the projects. Like, cause the, every last, literally every last pro, I'm really like when I listened to Jesus in the car, I was blown away just by the production and just the like the vision. Just of like it. just yeah, just like just like the way that he had like it's like listening to a movie. That Dang. shit be like crazy, like it. you be like you be sitting there and then even if you don't be, even if you're not even like. In that type of lifestyle or like that, you still could put yourself in that position and make you feel like you live that life. I fuck with that. You feel me? So I definitely, I definitely get a Kid Cudi album. You feel me? I, I'm changing my rating. On, I'm changing my rating on the J Rock, but we're gonna get to that in a second. But my Kid Cudi, I'm definitely a nine out of ten. Nine out of ten for Kid Cudi. I gotta listen to it. I need to get Kid Cudi. I, I like for real, you know. I've been spotty with you. You feel me? All my niggas is like real Kid Cudi fans. Me, I fuck with the day and night. I fuck with that song, but then when I heard the remix with Jim Jones, that made me fuck with it way more harder. Oh and like, you know, I'm a thug, bro. So like, it took it's during, especially during that time when Kid Cudi first came out. I was, I was on some hot boy shit then. So I'm like, I ain't really feeling this and. I could tell his music, I'm like, bro, we don't even do the same drugs, my nigga. Like, I don't, I don't fuck with that like that. But you know what? It's, it's boo. It's cool. You feel me? I fuck with Kid Cudi. Next, I, I'm going to let Kev really get into this one because I haven't really heard it. I heard, like, little snippets of certain songs, but I'm that's one of my assignments I'm going to do tonight along with the new project I'm going to do. I'm going to talk, talk about that at the end of the uh, podcast with this Nas album. Nigga, that Nas... Um, that album hard, for real, for real. Uh, like the first song on there is with the track with Diddy. Um, I'm not gonna front. It was alright to me. I really wasn't feeling it too much. Like at the very beginning, I was. Were you listening to music? You got title too? No, I got Spotify. Spotify. You can just listen to. It. Oh, you can just click on the album and then we'll just play it random and random. Huh? No, I got I got the service. I paid for. It. I just I got the album, so I just. Oh, I went to Spotify. Six ninety. Yeah. Yeah. Title like twelve something. Twelve something. That's why I'm. I just been using the fuck out this little free shit. But, but uh, fuck. yeah, the Nas album, the first track was okay. Then like after that, this shit just got incredible. All right. So Nas is Nas. You already know he giving you some bars and he giving you some shit. But this nigga had Kanye producing and it was like all right. Cause this everybody is, always says Nas got bars, but he always rapping. And on the he trash acknowledged the fuck out of this. He 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 basically told niggas like, I'm not making no top forty songs. Y'all can get that shit out, but y'all can say what y'all want. I got fucking plaques everywhere, so somebody filling my shit. He was like, he basically told niggas like, bro, none of y'all niggas can really fuck with me. Just on you some real said shit. On the simpler things, that's his best. He heard that's the best defense to motherfucking. Um, yeah, he straight up, that was, shit. it's the last song on there, and he just basically told niggas, like, bro, get over it, like, for real, like, it's a lame, too, nigga, niggas like that shit, so y'all niggas can get over it, basically just told niggas, like, bro, niggas like conscious music, nigga, like, it's it's a thing, nigga. It's, it's like, like, that shit is being discussed in colleges and motherfucking, I got motherfucking plaques and shit like that, like, it's like, bro, I, I do my own shit, bro, like, I don't have to motherfucking make the... Diddy Bop is song. I don't have to drop all the time. I did see Marte acknowledge and he definitely 100% resurrected the Dream career. Nigga, the Dream is on two songs. It's Adam and Eve and everything. Everything is my favorite song on the CD. It's Kanye West, Nas, and the Dream. The Dream singing vocals and just, they use the Dream so different than you usually hear them. It was so sweet with him. And then he had a song, Adam and Eve, that they did hard. The dream was super sweet on there. Everything that Nas was on, he just was so crisp. Like, it was just smooth all the way through. Like, it was just good-ass beats that you was like, oh, okay. And what even are the Nas names of these albums? I've just been hearing that they're dropping, but I haven't heard names. I know Nasir is the name of Nas album. I know that's Kid, Nasir. Kids see Ghosts is yeah. Kids Cuddy. Kanye's album is Ye. Like, Ye is really Y-E. Yeah. And then, uh... 
You got Twisted T's with Daytona. You feel me? And then Tiana Taylor's, I'm not really sure what her album was, because I ain't going to... They'll put the drum board out later this week. That's right. what they do for everybody. So it'll probably Wednesday and Thursday and put it out. But that Nas album, for real, for overall, like, six of the songs was incredible to me. Like, actually incredible. Like, playback value, incredible. The first track, I really wasn't feeling everything else. I was just, like, and, hard as fuck. And that's, that's one thing I be hating. I hate a whack intro, especially to an album. Because that can... Whack intro I mean, to it, anything. It was an mixer. intro, but I think because Diddy was on there and he was talking, mm-hmm. and I was like, I don't want you right now. What are you? No, like, go away, bro. Like, I don't need you right now. Like, no. Because, like, me, I ain't going to cap. I've been spoiled with great intros from all my, the Wings, the Jeezy's. Like, that used to be a bit like me and my cousin Dennis and uh, his cousin, uh, his friend Ronnie. We used to sit in the car and like we used to debate about that because for real, we feel like intros, an intro to your tr- CD, your album, or mixtape, it really makes. But have you peeped on the Kanye West ones? If you notice, when it gets to the bottom songs of each one, niggas start bringing fire. That's when they really start actually rapping when it gets towards the end. I've noticed that on all these Kanye the produced ones. I think on albums in general, like the first couple of songs is more to give you like a vibe and shit. Like the rappy, rapidly rap songs will be later in the album and shit. And then like the more feel vibes will kind of close out the album because everybody always like they want to start you off with a part, but then everybody want to leave you on that like that that somber note of like, oh. Well, on the Kanye produced the ones, whole the whole last time. song is always a song that niggas making statements on. That was the Nas talking about the conscious shit that they that Pusha T did the diss song on the last one. Kanye had the voicemail with Nicki Minaj on the last one. They've been making sure that that last that song, song is on something, something right. right, something major. I think the Tiana Taylor gonna be sweet as fuck. I, I think too, if, I, if she doing some R and B shit, and Kanye about to be on there, I heard a snippet of some singing. It was some fire, was really, really good. Really good, yeah. And then I'm, I'm like, I'm, I, she's I'm, uber talented. And I think she's gonna be the one to have visuals, the first videos time, that come yeah, out with the her shit. The That's very where I'm first time too. I seen her was one of my sweet sixteen. That's how I found out about Tia, Tiana Taylor, my sweet sixteen, because she had one of the, and because. On, on that show, they like after that show got so long, she had they had like the Hall of Fame Sweet Sixteens, and she was like one of the top dogs. Oh, so she been rich. Yeah, she yeah she been rich, like been rich since she was like a teenager. And back when she was really before all the girl shit, cause she used to be real tomboys and want BMX bikes and shit. She from New York, so she was she was out there. But then she came up. Then the second time I really seen her. Was in our Medea movie when she was Bow Wow's baby mama doing a Byron. Then she started doing little snippets of singing. I'm like, all oh, this bitch can really sing. I never knew. Cause see, I seen her always seen her as a ratchet thug little thing. I think it's gonna be amazing. And and, to- and because she did that one video with the with Shumper and them for Kanye, I think she buys into his vision. So yeah. I'm like, oh he gonna have Plus, fun with her. Her husband got bars. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Mon Shumper can rap. That nigga don't went to several radio stations. He went to fucking uh, Breakfast Club. Like, nah, fuck it. Nah, nah. I know y'all don't really do this, but nah. Nah. I was like, oh! He went to Fun fl- Flex. He went to, he did the, the Fun Flex freestyle. These basketball players, the niggas in general will not be denied. That nigga motherfucking. Loaded Lux went to motherfucking um, flex and just that nigga rap till he starts sweating. Bro. Hey, he snapped. Bro, he he's not. He did not miss a word, bro. Shout out to Trig too. That's the only person. That's one of the first people that I see performing, and I was like, because he just was not missing a single word. Just was like on that shit. I'm like, all right, yeah, this nigga's not I like that. And then, you got what you call album on your shit? Who J Rock? Of course. I saved the best for last, my nigga. Me. When they drop, funny story. We was playing Game of Traps. Game of Traps. We had just finished the game up. And then uh he was like, it was like right, like right towards the middle of the end of the game, like the end of the game or whatever. I was like, oh shit, that J-Rock album came up. He was like, oh it did. I instantly right here in this very spot, sat there and downloaded it, finished it playing the game. As soon as it went off, I was like, man, fuck all that bullshit. Played the whole album. Snap. 
I gave him an eight five. I give. I'm yeah. giving him a nine. I'm giving you him a nine. nine. I'm I give giving him an eight, eight and a half. He had some fire on there. It was some ratchet fire on there. His I, lyricism and his flows was definitely there. Like he definitely yes. brought his bars to the table, especially the last couple songs. Matter of fact, nine five. Only because we got blood ties. He was he was like, definitely bro. repping that shit hard as fuck on there And too. I was, you know, I was loving the bloodiest. It. Oh my like, bro, no, I was like, it, bro. Is. I was like, funny because I, you know, I, I couldn't even play. I fucked with the CD. I was like, I was looking for the. It was such a bonus for me because I was looking for the Nas CD and that shit was dropping. Then I seen J Rock shit. I'm like, oh fuck it, I'm about to listen to this. I started listening to that. I'm like. Hey, I don't know what I'm gonna listen to this Nas shit, but and this Jay like right, right now banging. I like, like how he put that win song, made that the last song yeah, that the album. Was, that clo- it closed it off on a party note. That shit was. That was and I'm crazy. like, you put that at the last, you made that the last song of the album. You feel me? And on top of that, that's the song that you use to get you to sell your album. So you know when niggas, the singles niggas be looking for on the CD. So niggas is waiting through the whole CD like, where's that? Right. And then right when you locked the like, bro, this nigga ain't even got it on here. I'm about to turn this off. Miss me with that bullshit. Hey, you ain't even like it was the, the layout of the city, the tone it went in, the intro was greatness. Like I said, a strong intro. That's if you can't capture me at the beginning of that with that with that intro, bro, what is you doing, bro? Like, I'm probably giving your city your album a chance later on. I don't really give a fuck about it. That's why I appreciate the Waynes, the Jeezys, the Fabulouses, the, the Jada Kisses, the Buster Rhymes, niggas who give me an intro. Dude, he set the tone, let you know, like, yeah, this is my album, motherfucker, and I'm out here, my nigga. Like, give me that intro. From all, motivation one through four, nigga, Jeezy's intro. Me, Mill slipped on the second album intro. But this uh this other this last album wins yeah. and losses intro go nuts bro dream and nightmares bro one of the greatest intros of all times bro like intros make your fucking if you ain't J Cole when he first came shout out to Meek Mills I sat there on YouTube and watched the beginning of that summer jam when him coming that's out so good. that's on here too and I'm like bro this nigga Meek Mills what about the really fact that you gotta see that judge again though and he might go in a way. To jail. That's this thing. This the thing. This is one thing. I don't think if she throws him in jail, he's gonna get right back out and she lose her job. She knows that at this point. This man, since he been home, he expresses, "Hey, I've been treated unfairly," but at the same time, "Hey, bro, I know, I know, I just Frank Lucas some shit for real, for real." Because now I got a hundred some cases being reopened and looked at. Y'all know, y'all it's clear as day that I was set up. So yeah, I, I broke some violations, but I shouldn't. I wouldn't even broke them. But what if she put him back in jail just so that she don't look like she got? You know what I'm saying? Cause she, as a judge, she not trying to lose her career, and she definitely not trying to lose her credibility. So if she go back on her word just based off of the fact that some, you know what I'm saying? She basically lost. Like it's it's really a toss up. It's a toss up, definitely. For it's sure. a toss up, but the only reason I'm I think she's gonna leave him out if he was out here wild. If you peep game and Meek Mill's music, he always talking about fuck the system. Da, 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 da. These last couple tracks that he done put out, he ain't really he been on some motivational shit. He didn't, he changed his look and not to mention. But, if, other but than, that, that kind of go to what G was saying though, like with the with the judge for seeing the fact that she started off like nah, I ain't giving you no more chances. You break probations. You don't listen. You do this all the time. She. She could go back in there and be like, you just putting on the front right now. You never know. Yeah. You're right. It's definitely going to be some fight back. But if she put him in jail, he ain't going to be in jail. If he goes he, to jail. He, like, to be honest, if he go to jail, I feel like it's Nicky's fault. I'm like, I'm, I, I, I'm putting this all on. I'm putting all on Nicky. That's for, a rough one. I knew this was coming. Bro, I knew y'all bro, both no, was coming no, with that, this. That, 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 that she got little, that bitch out of the rain. Bro, bro. You, bro, right. That last little interview she did after me said, don't say nothing. After, he let all the other shit slide before. But he told her at Breakfast Club, he didn't know. Don't, her, right? don't, don't, don't say nothing else about it. Don't speak on it. Da, 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 da. The first thing you go do right before, so when I got two weeks before my case, you do an interview show where you know they're gonna ask you about the shit instead of telling like 
Don't ask me nothing about that. Or you be just saying, I don't want to talk about that right now because this is that's important. You say, oh yeah, the judge was nice. Like we cried, and then you telling the people that I cried in the chambers. Me and you cried in the chambers. No, like, she said that she cried with the judge. She said that she was very nice. She did everything that she asked, that she did everything that I asked her to do. She was super nice to me. She like she was very maternal. We cried together. Like basically, she didn't want. She said, she said when her and me was having disagreements. She, I guess, took it upon herself and went in there and had a personal conversation, a heart to heart with the judge. And her and the judge, she basically saying, like, me and the judge connected. She was cool when I kicked it with her, like, you know what I'm saying? She was just maternal, like, they bonded on some women type shit. But basically, that's just like, that's just like your girl going to the court and getting cool with the motherfucking judge that's got your life on the line. And then now you not together with that bitch and she's still saying shit about it. She and she's basically painting the motherfucking judge out to be like, she's basically saying like she's not all that bad a person. She's not as vindictive as he's trying to make it seem. She seems like she's a pretty normal part down to earth person to me. Like, as a matter of fact, you know what I'm saying. Our connection, we cried together, we kicked it. Like, and that shit is. Yeah, and like that that you should have said nothing. Like, I feel me. Like, I don't give a fuck right now. That's because for me, I was just in a situation like that where I'm like, bro. Everybody's words around me that I'm around, y'all, what y'all do also affecting what I do. That's why I had to step and step back from a lot of people because I'm like, they looking at me right now and if I'm around y'all. Yeah, saying something about the judges. Uh, it's, a, yeah, it's, yeah. it's not even painting her in a positive light. It's just there was a lot of flack on this judge. Like if she was underneath the fire, and you're she's so under the stove. big of a store right now and you right now you you like you one of the top she just put her with some on some like not on some me too shit but she just really just took her she metaphorically just took the judge that's against me up underneath her right wing. like now nah, now nah, fall back homie i got this y'all ain't touching her wing, y'all ain't really. touching her you ain't touching yeah, like chill on her bro like she's not that bad of a person like you're really trying to paint her out like she just really trying to send this nigga to jail and in his life and she's not that type of person for real like from the connection, the time that we was together, she gave me another chance. You feel me? Even down to that verbiage. She gave him another chance. He, She basically said, like, he blew that shit. Like, she kept giving him chances. She, we kicked it. We talked the time. Like, and then. I don't and know, I go back just, to her. Just, and that part. And that thrill. And you feel me? It gets deeper. She because, with his life. Yeah, because you feel me? That even go back to with the whole. Drake beat shit where she kept telling that nigga, like, chill the fuck out. Just leave it alone. Leave everything alone. It's like, look at your image. Come on tour with me. Come on tour with me. Just chill the fuck out. When Nicki tried to take Meek under her wing and Meek kept doing whatever the fuck he wanted to do. Now she's like, you know what? Fuck it. But at the end of the day, it's different than playing with beef and playing with this nigga's life. Like, because she might not seem, she might not think that it's, it's, it's so much flag back on it, but... I day, mean, like, I, I, I don't want yeah, nobody to lose their job, but look. they was they, they was really on that on his judge. Like they was really paying attention to maybe there is some corruption in what she said. It's just like what Drake said. Drake got body by me. I mean, Drake body me in that beef. But the fact that me even said you don't write your shit is still to this day rippling. Ripple effect. It, it almost has like a longer effect than anything else. Then, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it's affected so many other things. So it don't everybody really not, it. It don't, we don't know what type of ripple effect what she said may have. Like at the end of the day, she's she she. Long story short, she said that that lady is not as bad as you trying as me is trying to paint her out to be. And like, and that's basically aligning herself. With and her. to get back to the summer jail, I just probably restart that. But when they get get back on the summer jail. I, I fucked with it, cause me, Summer Gym as you know, is in New York. And it was at the uh, MetLife Stadium or whatever for this uh for the summer gym. And this nigga me rode his bikes through New York to get there. Mm. And then came and went rode the shit through like through the shit and through the stadium and then we drove it on stage. I was like, I fuck with it. Cause they got him basically doing like all the big intros or Headlining and closing, like his intro, his coming out for his performances has been so ill now. They're doing it all with bikes. Even down in Miami, he rode a bike to that. He like riding bikes to every performance now. And I'm like, I fuck with it, but I'm like, 
in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, I'm like, I know you're a millionaire and all that, but at the same time, bro, same shit you just went to jail for, dude. Big fact, but it's like, hmm, I'm trying to figure out. Granted, they he's might- all because he gotta have some sort of security for this. So I'm feeling like if these events are sanctioned. By the oh, the city be beyond with it. The police be yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah. So I mean, like he he can't be by like that's the whole. I think that it's gotta be the reason he's doing it is to be more symbolic of the fact, like, bro, I really was in jail for a felony for what I'm doing right now, riding dirt bikes with motherfucking. I mean, we don't want to call it spade a spade, but he basically saying like, bro, this is what white yeah, motherfuckers bro. and regular people do all the time. It's riding a four wheeler. That's why he in the full, yeah, but like he in the full four wheeler outfit with the with the goggles on sideways. One, this time and the times before it was, before he had no police escort, they was riding, causing like almost causing oh, accident. Yeah, 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 you yeah. feel me? So I'm like, I feel you. Me, that's why I said I like it because you feel me, you. You feel me? You yeah, got security. Like you need gotta, to you gotta figure out if that is against like, the like, law. Like, you're doing it like, right, like you, you said with the rich kid thing. You gotta go places where you like. Have your security. Now you got a security team and you got poli- actual police escorts, so you can't get in trouble. Cover your bases. You got a camera crew, you got police escorts, you got other niggas riding dirt bikes. You don't know these two you got probably two but two of the police that, buddies. Even down that, that is that's still antagonizing the um the judge, and I'm like the judge too. You feel me? She can be having that in her but mind. It's, but it's also it, it, she can have that in her mind. But it's also money because the people who are putting these things on, he has to make money, and they're really they probably coming to him with these ideas. Like we want you to close the show, and we want you to come out doing a willy and the, like you know what I'm saying like it like I just summer the summer jail low key it was whack as fuck for real. I ain't really fuck with. It. I fuck with the meat meal shit. Rich the kid, Rich the kid's performance was whack. That nigga was sober as fuck. It did. The crowd. It was, I didn't it do, watch it. Was during, I only watched that. It was. One it was. Doing, I, I watched. It was during the day. He like you know people still getting it. He. The, the, let me let me rephrase that. He had the crowd rocking. It just performing wise, he was sober. I seen it in his eyes. I'm like, you know, like you know what I've noticed is people. You know, get, shit a little get, yeah, get high and shit before they even go on stage. Even celebrities that's famous, like they still get. When you, oh, I'm in front of motherfucker, forty five thousand people. And even down to when motherfuckers trying to make it seem like getting high before doing some shit is so crazy. Like the way the dispensaries and shit is now. Like Hannibal Burris just said, like he pops a five milligram uh, weed mint before he deals with media. You feel me, like? You might want to see him like, oh, this nigga gonna do, 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 smoke all this weed or whatever, but these niggas out here just popping little weed pills and, and I, going on about yeah, regular. Yeah, and I ain't saying I want him to do drugs. Other drugs. Yeah, and that's how I clarify. Like, I ain't saying I want him to do drugs. I thought but, you just been like, he wasn't high, he wasn't drunk, man. Yeah, like, he, he wasn't. taking a shot. Bro. Yeah, that's, and, and that's, that's where I was at, like, because he wasn't. You seen it in his face. He was just dull and so. Unless you Kendrick or somebody. Like, I feel like it's something. Well, yeah, if your they, 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 they live there all the time. So. If your performance has a Did J. Cole smoke or drink? Nah. He, like, he probably smoked weed, but I know he used to smoke and drink, but he, he talked about it in his early, early rest records, but you know, he all positive. But what I've noticed, though, with a lot of them, like, a lot of that style of music, like, why? A lot of them songs that be, like, hitting hard with the bass, or it be something catchy phrases or something, like, when they be doing them live, they don't be having them same effect as, uh... It's really the crowd gotta already know the song. Facts. If, the the crowd, crowd, if the crowd already with you, bro, that's why niggas, like, that's why old heads can fuck with niggas like Uzi and shit. They say it all the time. I've seen them live, and I got it. Because them niggas is out there, you feel me, like, oh, my man, they're, like, going hard. Like, it's a whole vibe. There's a whole ambiance to win. Right. The whole crowd knows the words, and they're going X-X. crazy. And just talks to like, When you really... When you see him perform at XX, when you see him perform at oh, yeah, festivals there are like a that, couple, yeah. you see him XX, they got that they serious cope from that. That's when you Lil see Pump. like, well, Pump like a little all star. He kind of can do everything. I feel yeah, so like he kind of low key is talented. Like, Lil Pump is more, that. He, he he's showing why he act for all that bread and he got that money. Yeah, he's showing right, like, right now like he can, he can do a little. Something. He can do a little something. I've noticed. And then right. when J Cole interview, it kind of put the light on old heads to leave that nigga completely alone. Yeah. Like, oh, he's he's smart. Like all right, cool. it showed that he it actually showed that like 
Bro, he's just a kid. Bro. Right. That he's too. He's a kid. Leave him alone. He's a kid, bro. He's 17 years old. Like, if you watch that interview, the amount of, like, how reserved he is, bro. Yeah. Like, he, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it's, it's rude to put it this way, but this nigga Rory on the back of uh, uh, Joe Buzz podcast put it kind of the best. He's like, you know how when you get left alone with, like, somebody, like, your five-year-old nephew, and you got to talk to him for a while until his parents get back? He's like, so, uh, how's he like, bro? It's cool, you feel me? Like, that's how he was. Well, he, like, yeah, reserved. Yeah, exactly how And you talking to him, and he's just all, like, jittery and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know, just trying to do most stuff. And, I mean, and, then, and, and then, then later on, you, he tells you that he was got an argument with his uncle, and he pulled a gun on him. You're like, so this little jittery little kid is pulling guns on grown adults and then you really realize like wow like kids are really still kids going through real life adult shit and then they're finally getting money and we busting their balls that's why we need to fall the fuck back on these niggas he's fucking 17 bro like let the kid live his money arguing with and granted he is he, he was mad because his stepdad was like i got you a house you just smoking weed in the middle of the house yeah. and shit like that and he was like i mean it was just weed and shit but even down to that, like, you feel me? Like, it's just a lot of shit, motherfucker. Like, you just realize, like, bro, this nigga is just a normal And you can see the difference in that, too, in that conversation. Because J. Cole was like, so you ain't seen nothing wrong with that? And he like, nah, it was just weed. He's like, right? he was like, so you wouldn't get mad at your son? And he's like, I mean, my son's on the phone weed, but I wouldn't really say nothing to him. Because that's when you just be like, all right, all right, bro. Bro. You, you just, but you just realize you're dealing with with little niggas right, with, with right, younger right. minds. You just realize you really get a conceptualization of, how young this dude is like he probably realized that you shouldn't have been smoking but right now he just like nah i ain't i ain't finna be wrong he was overreacting but damn sure you ain't supposed to just try to fight me or some shit but at the end of the day it just made niggas realize like bro this nigga is really just a kid that's out here having fun and making money and trying to take like bro he's fucking his parents and shit ain't even from here bro like wayne summer jail was horrible like so, horrible. It was horrible. Wayne was like they did say it wasn't that good. One, Wayne's he only had like it was short. It was short. He only had he probably only did like thirty songs. They said he only had a fifteen minute set, and he did all his like bangers and shit. They said he wasn't even really like doing different shit. Bro. Right, and I and I'm like when I when I was told that I forgot some words. Yeah. But I just said I don't, I don't like, I don't give a fuck. He about warming that. up though. He let yeah. you know he on his way back. And That's all he doing. But it, it needed, it needed to be better than that. That's summer jam. But at the same time, he like he had like this been doing yeah. summer jam for so yeah. long. Like I don't see him having the motivation to try to prove that. Man, you try to get the course you know, right. Them niggas don't pay the fuck attention at summer jam. Them festival crowds be festival crowds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. festival Dang. crowds, bro. Like it's like a hundred thousand people there, bro. They're not really like it, even the people in the front ain't really paying attention, kind of. Like, some is, but some ain't. Right. But when we talk about youthfulness, even though this nigga ain't youthful at all, he's pretty kind of old. But when they get Joel Santana and Cameron Tom saying this nigga, and you know they on a diss set tour or whatever. But you know, Joel's Joel got out of that jail shit? Yeah, he out of jail. He about to be, he on tour and shit. They about to, uh, uh -huh. What's going oh, on? Oh, yeah, got that? permission. He yeah, had to yeah, go with his mama. Yeah, he, yeah. Got, he, he on tour with his mama and Cameron sending this nigga. Like, sending this nigga. But I'm like, you mad because. to promote the tour. He go on tour. And he, I don't even know he was on tour. The only way to get this set always do around, go on tour around he this time. He promoting the tour by sending that nigga. But he went, he got to go, and his mom got to come with him. But I'm like, bro, that's the best thing. Now this nigga not gonna get hooked cause Joel Santana for real for real is a junkie. Like, he he drink rubber testing, not activist, not call he drink that shit, but he really drink rubber testing. The same shit. Ass same thing, young thug is off of. They drink that prescribed rubber testing, that heavy shit. And then like you feel me, that be having them bugging out, like taking straps in the airport and then running away and like you feel me? You feel me? Then when <laughs> we see his wife and shit. And then you see all these other niggas who in the industry you really got who out here they trying to say my nigga going back going broke and shit. It's cool and all, but I'm like you got Kim Bella and niggas want Kim Bella, nigga. I don't give a fuck. Like Kim Bella still she ain't going she ain't gonna stay in league. She she going get right. Yeah, and somebody at the right nigga with the right amount of money that, that she know can really be protected, can be protected. She's going go. You feel me? 
Now she ain't gonna, probably not no rap nigga unless you like a super big, big rap nigga. But other than that, you feel me? And he probably see who hop you all in her inboxes and shit. Definitely. Joel Santana going through some shit. Cam Brown probably in that shit on the lowest of keys. Juju ain't there. Juju got snatched up by Safari. So, I know Cam Brown going through some shit right now. Ooh, she a little curly hair, little bag. Yeah, that's Cam Brown. That's bad. Yeah. Juju got snatched up by Safari on Love & Hip Hop. She all right. She all right. Who, Juju? Just Cam Brown. She, she's yeah, right. I seen that. I, I, and, I, and I'm like, they just had to sweep it under the cover on the rug because it's on Love & Hip Hop. But I'm seeing like, this nigga Safari just smashed Juju. What's Juju? Can't rise ex bitch. Ain't nobody. But was it a real smash or was it a love? It was definitely smash. no. It was definitely real. Oh, Look, them, them love and hip hop smashes. They real now. That's that's like they really real. That's why they had to. That's why Miami was only motherfucking like seven episodes. The Miami was so real. You got gunplay. He on there doing cocaine. His bitch finding a hundred dollar bill with the cocaine, like, oh, this nigga on the shit again. And then the Miami tip bitch, that was his ex little bitch or whatever. She down there. She's it was wild. like Miami was wild. The trick daddy Trina, trick daddy's wife shit. Trick daddy a real nigga. Like, bro, that Miami was the first like for real love and hip hop since like the very first love and hip hop season where it was just like real ratchet shit. There wasn't no scripts. Everything going that bitch was real. It was so real. That bitch, Johnny Blaze, got took back off the show. They had to take her off. Because they was like, we can't protect you. And it's going down. When they was doing the little, the little preview shot for the show, niggas got was throwing them hands. You feel me? That's why the Houston shit ain't come out. Because Sauce Walker ain't having none of that shit, bro. I, speaking of Sauce Walker, he got the beef with motherfucking Gunna and Future right now. That, that nigga ain't, bro, Sauce Walker, he ain't be having none of that shit. That he's someone that ain't gonna never come out for real. Cause Johnny Blaze on that bitch too, but the Houston one ain't gonna, niggas is. Hold on, did, so, so did Sauce Walker drop a diss? That, that's yeah, that, a diss that's a real, yeah, that's a real diss track, and he snapped on that bitch too. I was like, all right, future. Talk to my island and slide. The world can let you slide, but I'm, I'm not. Why is Sauce Walker and Future beefing? Sauce Walker, uh, Future, Future did, some, he stole some from Sauce Walker, the same thing where he was beating some with. Some style or some shit, oh God. So that, shit, some, some bullshit. Yeah, man, what's who we got next, man? I'm tired of niggas beating for style. Man. <laughs> bro, that's, it's real, bro, that's a nigga's man, life, that's I how will, niggas eat. I'm still a nigga swag, bro. Now, if you still for a whole bunch of songs, then I'll be mad, but. And I'm that's the problem, bro, that, like, Stucher, Future took his whole thing. Bro, that's why he was starting. Oh. Yeah, if you like, niggas been, he, that's why he keep talking about everything. That's why he got on Drake's ass and then Drake apologized. Like, look, bro, I'm sorry. I don't want no smoke. So I was walking, ain't no just rap nigga. He's a real street nigga who rap. And he like, bro, if, I'm run, if I say I'm run down on you, I'm running down. And he has. He done ran down on Drake. Made Drake apologize. Like, really ran down on him. Jay Prince couldn't even stop the shit. Jay Prince was like, nah, Drake, you, you fucked up. When Jay Prince, the nigga who basically... You can say run Houston, and it's another nigga in Houston who every hit him was like, nah, bro, your, where your man's at? Your man's fucked up. Drake had to pay that man and apologize. That shit is real. When Sauce Walker on your ass, he on your ass. And he tell you, like, bro, fuck all this rap shit, nigga. This shit ain't nothing to me. This is fun. I'm big and like, I'm being a millionaire. I do really, he like, you know, he in real estate and all this other shit. That nigga, the, like, rappers just... Some shit, like some podcast type shit to him. Like, so just a hobby. Like playing video games. I don't give a fuck. That's why he never dropped the major print. But I do want to get into the E3. Because I seen they, I seen a little bit of gameplay in Hitman 2. And that shit looks amazing. The, the, the Hitman 1 or whatever, I guess for the reboot. It was nice, but I didn't understand the game. Because at first I thought it was just like an online thing. But I didn't understand it was open world. What, Hitman? Yeah, and it's, it's multiple Hitman. So I was thought, like. Nah, open, Hitman ain't open. Well, it's semi open world. You basically are dropped off in like a, a mini sandbox with a mission to kill somebody. And you just go around and you make, you kill that nigga and then you leave the mission area. 
Open world is more like a Grand Theft Auto. Like you start Grand Theft Auto, you just start doing shit. You can go wherever the fuck you want. That's like that's how you could in the other hand, man. That like they added that shit. Like I, it kept playing on my PlayStation. Then I got it once, and I was watching like y'all to play that shit. That newest one that came out. Like, yeah, yeah, the new yeah. The last one that showed that you can have different hitmans or whatever. Yeah, it's it's hell. Nobody, nobody really gave it a play play, but I watched, like I said, I watched my little, I downloaded it, but I was lost in it, so I just gave it up. I watched my Ayana play, but it's several, it's open world, but so it's like, you a hitman, you a hitman, I'm a hitman, and we just, everybody doing different missions and got different shit, but you also see different hitmans, because sometimes you can be on the same mission with another person. They also trying to do the hit, and that's what they were talking about implementing on this one too. And they and they like on their online. Yeah, thing. I seen the trailer but, for the Hitman too at the and, 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 that shit with the, and they yeah, said it's cool. so many different ways of killing one person, but you gotta pick the right one and you gotta be look how you're doing it because you could be doing it going to do a hit, but it's another Hitman there. And if it's another Hitman there, he can kill you too. Mm. So I'm like that. I fuck with the game even more because now it ain't just I'm focused on trying to kill Kev. But now it's like, I'm fucking on trying to kill Kev, but I got to watch my back for G. Because he might, I don't know what his contract is. But he might have the same trying to kill you too. He got killed, I, he got killed me. So he can get that bread or whatever, or however they do it. I'm interested, I'm like, I'm really interested in this type of game. I like games like this. That's why I was so big on Shadow of War. Because I'm just, look, on that game, niggas can just pull up on you. You be thinking about the fight of boss. Another nigga like, nah, nigga. Oh, you thought I was, nah. Now you're fighting two bosses at once. And then the third one, the sweeter you get, the more bosses pull up. You feel me? Nah, that's why I had to stop playing the game, because now there's like four or five bosses pulling up on that nigga. I'm like, bruh. Bruh, bruh. Let me, let me, let me play the game, bruh. I can't even do nothing with missions. They pull up on me. I can't even pull up on them. I saw this, uh, we got that text us. It's like basically, they're talking about opening up a video game sections and uh, casinos and letting niggas start gamble on video games and casinos. They got like Angry Birds, uh, Flappy Bird, um, a couple different types of uh, casinos. Shit, but it's just like a billion dollar, it's just like a, like a, like a multi billion dollar industry. And it's just like, yeah, we're about to get, get in this. They said they already got, uh, I think it's something but they said they got uh, like they got casinos and like they got games in like 450 casinos and they plan on having them in like some ridiculous fucking stupid number by the end of 2019. They lowered the the average the average gambling rate was like 60 something years old and they lowered it it's like 22 years because like yeah only old people be in the casinos for the most part so they're trying to get younger people in there and they also the slots. They don't use them as much. They just, just old. Like so, they like if they add games in that bitch, it's an untapped market. Untapped market mm -hmm. for sure. Especially in the casino, I would be interested. It depends on what games they put in there, because that's gonna be a bit of a. I don't know how that's gonna work. Right, because sweet niggas, niggas is how you win. It's skill based gaming. It's, it's skill based gaming. So they're gonna give you money based off the skill. Hey, somebody gonna hit some licks off of that. We're playing against other motherfuckers too. We play against other people and shit. Yeah, that might get rough. Niggas, niggas gonna be in there fucking people up. Uh, yeah, cause you gonna get some angry bird experts that's gonna come in there. They gonna know the. It's, it's like fly, it's like flabby birds or something. I don't think it was angry bird. It was a couple different things. It's a uh, multiplayer Pac-Man game they got. It's like a Pac-Man battle royale, some shit that they got. They got that they uh, said. Mm -hmm. Definitely it'd be fun to make money off of it because I mean it's win based, but of course the casino gonna be getting a lick of each game of everybody playing because whatever that payout is ain't gonna be the amount of what you paying to play in it. So, right. It's smart. Definitely yeah. like it. Uh, I don't know. Gambling is taking yeah, over yeah, everywhere. Into the casino, no. But I also wanted to see. Well, I wonder if it would do anything for microtransactions or if the gaming industry is like fuck that. We'll just keep microtransactions in game. As you can see, microtransactions from, you know, app games, real games, now it's going into the casinos and shit, like, they understand that just a couple cents here, a couple cents there, that shit adds up. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, it usually never bothers me, because usually wherever there's microtransactions, you can just play through it. 
usually it's just a longer process, but you can yeah, play through it and get the get it another way. So I usually don't be too upset. I just don't want to get to a point where it looks like well how people make it perceive that there's certain games where nigga you can't get none of this stuff without that was, I'm paying. That was two K eighteen, bro. The my player, bro. That was literally two K eighteen, bro. The like. You couldn't be sweat. I'm convinced, bro. Can't nobody, ain't nobody telling me, like, oh, yeah, bro, I just played the game. I ain't spending no money. Fucking liar, bro. Just, just, you're a fucking liar, bro. Even if you even put it on a fucking rookie level, bro, it's still difficult as fuck. I'm not buying it, bro. Like, 2K18, bro, you, you got to spend money. You got to spend money, bro. And I was like, and that's what I hate about it. Because, you know me, I'm like, fuck it. I'm just playing my way through it. I ain't cool. I ain't tripping. Nah, I got to spend money just to keep... And then, when you get on, online, and then, like, for you, if you want to play online, you, you got to spend that bread, bro. Because online, you don't, you still don't win shit. That's how they get you. That's how they be getting niggas. Like, Mario and I was playing all them black top games and shit. That, for them to get all that <coughs> shit that they really need, they had to put in over 125 plus games online, bro. Like, man. <coughs> I didn't want to talk about that bag because I just see that they dropped at E3. They didn't really talk about man. They just dropped like the little pictures and shit. But they actually dropped motherfucking gameplay, and I got to see the gameplay. It still kind of looked like Madden, but it's way more detailed. And I'm mad Keith ain't here because. They did other graphics like the Frostbite engine or with Studio, whatever they're using. Smart. That was very smart of them to do that because the graphics look wet. I'm trying to figure out who else does the Frostbite. Who else is using that? It's just EA Sports. I think EA Sports because you know uh, that. It came from, uh, damn, what, what game did it Battlefield use it? Use it. Yeah, Battlefield uses it. Uh, maybe Metro uses it. Metro Exodus using it? Yup, they use it. And that's and they also and they use it in YouTube. Like, that's why I'm like, I, I just I like I like the graphics and then like I said, they went more detail in the franchise mode. They they got the automatic screenshot, so if you really dog a nigga, they'll be recording you dogging a nigga automatically. And then they put it up like you can see little video clips in your office and shit. The up, the how you upgrade your player is way better now. They did it on a scale like the God of War shit, where you you earn skill points and then you just upgrade and every upgrade costs a skill point or whatever. Blah blah blah. I'm I'm fucking with that. That way, and you instead of instead of you playing a game and you getting a couple skill points, you get like 400 skill points, but that don't mean shit because. You feel me? The notches cost so fucking much to upgrade. <laughs> like, that shit don't mean that. Now it's like, nah, you can be sweet, bro. And then they break down like, oh, you might be a deep pass. You might be a quarterback out of strong arm. You feel me? But you can also work on other shit like, oh, okay, you got a strong arm, but can you throw a, can you throw a tight spiral or is your ball flop? You feel me? I like, I like how they, they added new position slots in there. They bro, added yes. power running back position now so instead of having to go in there and sub shit that's an actual position so they'll already have that person in there they added that slot receiver position slot corner bro uh like a different depth chart positions on there they they added the uh wide receiver short running routes medium routes long routes now they don't never they never had that on there i just uh, know break sacks Fact, like you can break quarterback his, break, break sack, sack rate now, so you can look like, oh, this nigga break sacks, like, bet. So it, it definitely mad. I'm like, okay, y'all was thinking out the box. Y'all always take a year. I'm learning with Madden now when they do something sweet, they be like, you know what? We just going to run that back the next year, <laughs> and then that next year after that, we're going to be y'all something new so again. Well, <laughs> that's how they do it. I'm like, now, like, that's why I was like, I, I got to talk about this on the podcast. So when I see now, I instantly text you. Like, bro, do you not see this shit? It made me almost want to start playing Madden again. Like, I, I just, I'm fucking with the video games. All right, another topic we can get into real quick is the motherfucking, I just want to talk about fake news. Like, I'm tired. 
now it's it's getting to the point where it's sources that you can go to for like that always had like reliable real facts don't even be having real fact like I, I had like I, I'm not going because I ain't trying to start no war and we ain't even big yet so I ain't gonna say they fucking names but we like it's a couple YouTube pages I like I be going to and people I'll be following I'm like they reported that this nigga FBG Duck got shot it was like 15 like people like I even see academics make a post and then take it back down like everybody was saying he got shot and this man's died he was like. See, this is how fucked up and goofy the internet is. I ain't get shot. My man's died, though. My man's got shot. He did. I'm sick about that shit. I ain't get shot. Oh, hey, bro, just because he was going at it with the 6 9 basically. It's basically just because niggas was like, FBG Duck's friend got shot. And then they niggas played telephone, and they was like, FBG Duck got shot. Facts, bro. I'm <laughs> like, bro. And then... I heard something else, even down to what you was telling me. Or well, when you instantly was like, nah, it ain't real. LeBron James fucking Beyonce. Okay, come on. But, the, but. And this is when it made her, and oh, yeah, that Who was. Who posted that? That was Carcino. And that's the initial first one, and I was like, all right, Carcino, you reaching. Because I'm like, if this was true, or even this rumor was remotely true, I'm like, first of all, LeBron to take his name down. They would be reporting that everywhere. They would lose that night. Then Beyonce, I was like, bro, this would be reported everywhere. This would be... Right, he would not be the first nigga with this fucking... Even if it was a rumor, it would get pushed to the forefront. Like, oh, no. That's how I realized, right, bro, you reaching. You bro, reaching hard as fuck. That's why I be hating, like... And then we got this one where Black... Uh, other than that, the last time we got Black China. Her ass, Saudi. She was dissing all fathers and shit today. Cause today she got no word. She was dissing all fathers. Yeah, cause she got word, bro. Tiger and Rob then got a pick child support. <laughs> and then she was like all twenty. She posted like all twenty, and then dot dot dot. So until the judges say they got paid again, they good. Wait, why don't they have to pay? One Tiger forever got king, bro. If you if you follow if you follow Tiger on IG, that Tiger always got a son. Only time you see King with Black China is when you feel me. She's really doing like some type of promotion shit. You feel me? No, he's good. I'm just no, no, pressing the board in my head right now. Like, man, I'm so glad. And then Tiger, but when... Tiger did the smart thing <sighs> when it first when he first found out she was pregnant. And they had that baby. As soon as they broke up, they went to court. He was like, "Look, you know." I don't feel like playing child. I don't want to. I, sh- I don't feel like I should play child support because she she's a stripper. She don't even strip no more. She just really spends my money. That's the reason we're breaking up because I'm tired of her uh-huh. just spending my money. So the judge was like, "You got to get her a house, a car, and you got to give her like I think it was like eleven thousand dollars for so many uh, for so many years." That time has passed. He did everything. She got the big ass mansion that they were staying in, but he ain't had to pay the rent for that. He got, she got the mansion. She got, like, two of his Lambos and, like, a bench truck. But he got end up getting that bench truck back, paying and giving it to Kylie. Oh, the, like, I just was, I was just happy. I'm like, That's fuck. That's crazy. So fuck. he really just left her with, so he probably already had to deal with the crib, gave her the car, and he had to pay the bills for that amount of time. And then now she, and if she ain't stacking right, they just like, all right, fuck it. So what happened with Rob? Rob, then, like, basically the same thing. Like, bro, the way she's been acting... She's got money because she's been portraying her. So she's showing everybody while she's in this Rory and that. They seem like, damn, she got money. You see Tiger, his shit getting repo. Mm-hmm. He a rapper. You, 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 it's just you. How was this rapper again? His shit repo. Granted, he probably letting that shit happen. That's why I never held that shit again. Like, that nigga Tiger's not broke. This nigga got niggas drilling for oil. Not to mention, she made a poor choice as far as him. Even if she was trying to get child support, you don't go out and date an 18 year old, 19 year old kid. And, and get pregnant by the nigga. It's pregnant with Oh, him. he was young too? Why be in Yeah, that little nigga Oh, I thought you was talking about uh, Rob. No, I'm just talking about Black like China's choices. It, 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 <clears throat> no, I also. Just, that nigga, uh, what's weird is also the motherfucking like, fact that. She like literally just the same way that niggas should be used against them in court. 
Female shit used against me before too. If and it definitely get used against her. If you portray yourself as this chick who's taking niggas up top for money and having babies with niggas for money, and you letting niggas letting it be known, like why do you think that the justice system is gonna play into letting you do I, that? I can tell you why these hoes are really doing it. Cause it works. Yep. And they all for real. All these hoes for real, like Black China, she really looks up to Amber Rose. They see Amber Rose doing it for the longest. She was really fucking with niggas for money. And then, but Emma Rose smart thing. She started getting her own money. She chilled out. Yeah, she got her own money, but then when she got a nigga, she wasn't no hoe no more. Yeah. She, she was still promoting it, but she wasn't a hoe. Yeah. And I mean, I, I'm definitely think this is revenge from Rob. The Kardashians got pulled. Right. You already know. And Kim the, just met with Trump. Like, and that's not. And right. the Kardashians she still. The Kardashians still fuck with motherfucking Tiger. Like he said, he was like, yeah, that. Kylie, you know that they take care of the baby way more than like. He was like, bro, I took Kylie. Like, I, like I, just, I had to day. really just think about it. Like Kim, when did we just met with Trump, Trump. and got somebody pardoned, right. got somebody freed out of jail? So I know they got pulled. Yeah. Enough for to like Rob really getting screwed over. And, and, no. that support, and, right. and then from some, some from some like let's not be let's not talk bad about it. But at the end of the day, like some chick that's just a stripper that really just fucks rappers and rich niggas and just gets money out of them. You really gonna let but, your family get fucked? But it's not discreet like about it. Not only do you get money out of them, you make it a thing. You brag he, about and it. So like, now and that's the what, she, and in the way that she did him dirty in the public respect of it, and like we're like. That's their family. That's their baby. Figures. Like you ain't about to take their family like name. You thought that beef was over? You ain't trying to cover my family name. Oh. Yeah, like uh-huh. you thought that we was some, some motherfucker hoes out here. It's the same motherfucking motherfuckers that told Kanye, like, man, don't worry about shit. We got you. Like they, and, they, they were, and I'm like Rob yeah. and Tiger. They probably looked out for both of them because. Of course, Tiger ain't in bad terms with them niggas. Tiger's still cool with them, so right. they looked out for both them niggas. Like, Tiger, oh. Tiger, even though Kylie had what's the name's baby, them niggas is still. He, she, he said it. Yeah, I still talk to her all the time. Like we just faced on me yesterday. And Kanye's still cool with that nigga. Tiger. Right, Tiger Tiger's got it. smart investments. He's not a stupid. He got business. That's why I fuck with. Uh, that's why I fuck with Tiger. Like his. You feel me? He was and niggas go to bat for him a lot, and even in his video, it was a bunch of real niggas there that was not in it. Like you didn't tell about like he probably he probably a real nigga, bro. He from he from Compton. Probably a real nigga, bro. Like that's why the game that. instantly jumped in that shit. Like it was like not only did you feel me, he like I asked him that he want me to jump in on the track. He said yeah, but he didn't need me. He just I asked him, hey, you want me to get on this little this shit? Yeah, and I went on a week. But it's a thing, bro. We from LA. It's a we a family. We riding with them no matter what. All you gotta do is say the word. And with you know with the game, he ride with whoever he cool with. The game is like me. My nigga is some shit, I'm in some shit. Like this DMX came out of this damn mic when you said that. The game is like me. <laughs> but, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we got. For real, that's it. We got we literally covered everything. That's what's up, man. From the good podcast. Hell yeah, well, it was a good amount of time, man. Well, shit, man. We just gonna wrap it up with that, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we're gonna have some more fire for y'all. Sorry we was down. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Shout out to everybody out there. Coney, it's you all. We're gonna have a lot of East Side Peace, gang shit. Man. You know, whole lot of that. Peace whole up, cool A Town Down. Whole lot of podcast shit. It's never the right it's time to slay that ass. It's never the wrong time to slay that ass. It's never the wrong time.